things. You look at that while I have a drink. <laughs> Oh, I'm back. Sorry. Um, yeah, the race. And they do look like they're just having a lovely time. And you've got loads of stamps there that'll be back. Is that a little mousy at the bottom? Oh, it is. Look, a teeny weeny little mouse. Oh, it is. He's just hanging. Yeah, it could. It could be one of the baby mice. Um, loving it. Okay, £11.99 is your price. Um, 580252. And then, last but by no means least, look at these stamps. They're beautiful. Um, I, yeah, I adore this collection. What an amazing price for all them stamps. Her artwork is just exquisite. I love the fact the packaging um, has got... I kind of want to put this on white, um, that the packaging has got all those colours. Because look, when you see it, can you see, when you see it on white, look how bright and beautiful they look. See, they just look exquisite. And I, it's a shame, hold on. Yeah, no, I can't put them. But they just look, I mean, look at that. Look at the horses when it's on white. Look at that, how beautiful that packaging is. Isn't that pretty? They're absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, please check your baskets out with these. All that artwork is magnificent, and the packaging is so inspirational. Look at the cats. So, sorry, I'm just trying to show you the, them properly. Lovely. Um, if you do want to get hold of them, I mean, they have been seriously, seriously busy. Only £23.99. Now on extended delivery. Um, so please make sure you check your baskets out with those. 809112 is your item number. Um, hello. Um, okay, now then, we have um, other goodies that we haven't seen. How rude. Now, this is lovely. Good backgrounds are these ones. Um, absolutely exquisite because what you'll find with this one um oh lovely you've got all those lovely backgrounds that you can build up which is really really cool like that one and only 11 pounds and 99 pence love that um 558247 is your item number we've also got for you the sunrise suns oh now i love this one i saw that in box i really like that because i like the silhouettes and i like that you can build up all your different images really cool is that one uh, 153347 is your item number 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price um now and obviously if you do want to get hold of that one check your baskets out we've all oh i love this one as well that's pretty um now that one is 986186 and that one is your uh, moonlit wings which is just beautiful oh and now the mirror stamping plate now this is cracking i've got one of these and i still haven't used it you know which is really naughty 1499 it's a cracking plate because it does allow you to do that mirror technique dead easy which is fantastic uh, now we've also got the beautiful embossing enamels now remember these are really nice thick powders it's so great for techniques um, you've got your pick and mix so you've got four different colors you're choosing two you've got the clear the beautiful copper you've also got the silver which is a really nice silver and then you've got the gold 112 116 is your item number. I'll dead quickly show you because I know we haven't seen them and I really like this. So this is that Sunrise Sunset. I really like these because they're dead easy to, yeah. to make a cool card with, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, I mean, that, look at that. Well, that tag, I think I must have had that in my stash about three years ago when yeah. I started playing with colours. Yeah. And, and then I found just, it out and it was just, oh, wow, yeah. just stamp, stamp it on. The cracking for That's one of Maggie's. That's beautiful. That's, That's really cracking. pretty. Um, if you would like that stamp set, £14.99 is your price. Shall I show you the other couple that I've pinched off the back? So these were the ones. Um, are they the Moonlit Wings? Moonlit Wings, yeah. Yes, they are. See, that's another stamp set that's... Oh, there's so many stamp sets. Yeah. That are beautiful. Yeah. Really. And they all mix and match. Yeah, they do. Yeah, 14 .99. Check out the website. You'll be able to see the images and everything. There's so much to choose from, so please do have a look. Right, ah, Karen. We've right. got about six minutes. Cool. That'll get me to, the, to this one. Just going back to this um, mirror plate that I used oh, uh, earlier yeah. on. And we had a really, really good result. However, that's been on since three o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It washes off. 
Ah, uh, okay. So I don't want anybody to think that they don't clean. And you can see how I'm scrubbing it. Yeah. And it's still perfect. Marvellous. Yeah. yeah so yeah. remember that's how they clean. They, yeah. You know, just clean them off like that. And put some, that. put some uh, hockey behind it, some elbow grease, yeah? Um, now, are, which one are we really limited? The mass mice. Okay, really limited on these little guys. Um, very limited. Remember, that is extended delivery. Once it's gone, it has gone. 140312. Please check your baskets out. We've had so many sellouts. Right, my love. So, acetate. Yes. And stays on. Beautiful. Yeah, doesn't ruin your stamps. Okay. I tend not to clean the stays on off because I think the cleaner with polymer, polymer stamps, I yeah. think the cleaner ruins them more than the, the stays on being on. Yeah, it can yeah. make them a bit brittle. It can, it can't it? So I'm just stamping onto a, I'm not even using a, 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 a platform. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just stamping them. What I have done then Beautiful. is when that dries, yeah. that you will be able to feel that and I've turned them over and coloured the underneath of them with alcohol oh, markers. That looks well good. Yeah. And when you colour it in, it's nice to not be, um, like, you know, not going straight to the size and stuff. It looks like watercolour, doesn't yeah. it? Doesn't yeah, it, 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 it eats that quirky, isn't it? Yeah, so very cool. That would, I would let that dry, but you always get a little, you can always feel the, yes. the ink that settles on top of it. However, I've then masked, made some masks, and what I am going to do is start just inking up and you'd go around and ink up how long we got left six minutes Milo. six minutes i think we've got time so you'd carry on with all your different colors and blend it all in i'll just go over this one and then you can see what actually happens is when you take your mask off you've got the empty glass as as such here's Beautiful. one that I did prepared earlier prepared earlier and that oh. looks a bit weird <laughs> it looks a little bit weird so I'm going to take the stamps off I'm not going to put them back onto my thing just yet because I have brought more stamping uh, stamping what we call this but <laughs> seem to have mislaid them oh, as man. you do yeah. as you definitely as you definitely do clear <sighs> You can never see them. Oh, it's nice because whenever I, I get all organised, everything's organised, and when I get here, I'm like a, yeah. a jelly, and it just goes to pieces. <laughs> so I'm going to put my straw on, and I only need... See, told you. <laughs> like a jelly. I've got my memento, a go. black ink, and I'm just going to stamp up some straws. Now, I did do another one, but I'm not going to show you till end because it's, uh, I tried to be clever with it and mm -hmm. uh, did did something with it and it looks absolutely shocking. <laughs> yeah? And did you? Yeah, it does look absolutely <laughs> shocking. I'll show you the end and show you my mistakes, <laughs> but uh, I'm not... It's like the bloopers. <laughs> oh, right, blooper. And the more I tried to cover it up, the worse it got. <laughs> so this is like cocktail night, <laughs> isn't it? We should do that, shouldn't we? We should have, like, the, the ones that went Well, wrong. I'm not afraid to show me wrong ones. <laughs> I know some people do, but I know. the wrong ones are the wrong ones, yeah. aren't they? I love it when people put the thumb over it. You know, the bit oh, that went wrong. It's just so laugh funny. about it. You've, <laughs> yeah, you've, exactly. you've, it should happen at all. Yeah. Well, nobody's it... infallible, <laughs> are they? We all do it. We all do it. We all put dirty ink marks on oh, it. Oh, everywhere. That yeah. is one of my worst things that I do. Yeah. I drive myself nuts with me. Well, I'm all right because I've got craft. I'm crafting upstairs, and what I do is I've got a sink full, and it's got scrubber, scrubber. You know, and I have yeah. a sink in the bathroom, and whenever I've gone done something, I'll go and I look at my hands. I'll go and scrubber. Oh, you're good. I can't be bothered. Well, I don't normally. <laughs> I don't normally, it's only because I'm learning to craft upstairs. <laughs> so I'm using all my little bits. Oh, I do like And my them. cherries and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to give you a warning, folks. Our wonderful mass mice, um, less than a handful left now. If you want our lovely little cuddles and our happy little mouse and our... Oh, he's feeling a bit sorry. Next couple of people, they are yours. Oh. Um, please, you uh, yeah, you need to check your baskets out. It's now the only way that they're going to be uh, delivered to your door. And okay. So we've got, we've got orange or lime slices, whichever you want to call them. So that'll be floating, won't it? 
I love these. And so, you can use that as a, you could use that as a border all the way yeah. around. They make gra cracking background stamps, all the little yeah. fruity elements. Yeah, that the the one who's got the mason jar is very guilty. Now look, I missed there, but they are so good at popping back on top, and you can't really tell. I love it, Jimmy. In my head, a whole strawberry. Yeah, darling. Yes. Of you do. Jimmy, do you know one of the things I actually like doing, and I forgot, is like literally just put your fruit in water, put it in the fridge, then when you have, you know, a jug of water, and then you always have fruity water. Oh, you're so healthy, you. I forget to do it, but it's really nice, is yeah. that? And you can do it with your lemons and your limes. It's just, right. just stick yeah, me. A cheeky bit of orange. Yeah. Me, not me, I just go with tea and coffee. I <laughs> know, oh, Jimmy, you just don't eat enough fruit, that's the that's thing. That's it, yeah. Come on, lad. <laughs> so we've got a lime in that one. And oh. I'm only colouring like as in a watercolour. That's lovely. It that works so well. Um, our mass mice, they've gone. Oh, I do apologise. Um, oh, I hope you absolutely love them when you get home. I'm dying to see what you do with them, uh, but they have sold out. We've got, how much time have we got? A minute and a half. Right, so I'm not going to call it straws in or anything else. Okay, cool. But okay. I'm going to get my, glass, uh, my glasses, not the ones I'm wearing. And I can uh, yeah. feel on the back where the, uh, where the ink and the acetate is. And I'm just going to pop some glossy accents just where the, uh, oh, what do you call them? Ice cubes are. Oh yes. Because then if you see the see it through it, you can uh, you'll only just see it where the ice cubes are. Beautiful. I love those. And my strawberry would normally be clear uh, would be normally done done right and you can lose them. With forty five seconds. Well you're just gluing your last glass. I'm gonna tell you your laurel birch. You need to check your baskets out. It has been ridiculously busy. It is on extended delivery, uh, but please make sure you check your baskets out. They are gorgeous. You get your ink cube, remember, and you get your um, you get the the handle, but you know it's an acrylic block. But it's the stamps. The stamps are stunning. Uh, back to you, our Karen. Let's have a look. So that's the one that I've done. Look, 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 and that's Karen. that's the boob. Come on, Hooray. that's the boob. Because I tried to, I tried to ground it. Forget it. Thanks, love. Thank you. Loved it. Bye. <laughs> oh, thank you, our lovely Karen. Um, coming up next is our fabulous Haley and our one day special. We've then got design and so, and then another chance to get our Haley. Welcome to All and Create's fourth birthday event here at Hachanda with three one-day specials and a weekend wow. We invite you all to celebrate with us as we bring you fantastic products and inspirational demonstrations, plus up to two free gifts with purchase in each promotion, so up to eight per customer. Join us for All and Create's fourth birthday celebrations on Wednesday the 14th of October at 6pm to Monday the 19th of October at 6pm. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the channel. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different 
and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Jean and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hello everybody and a warm welcome. So we've got another look at our fantastic one day special and there's a really nice story behind this because it's brought to us by uh, Hayley who we're all familiar with. So the lovely Hayley, made by Hayley. And obviously Hayley is a massive part of Hochanda and we all know what a talented quilter and sewer she is. This system, for anyone who didn't catch the launch show, has been years in development. We're talking about three and a half to four years haley has been working on this. And it's born from, like all great inventions, it's been born from necessity. So as a quilter, the pitfalls, the struggles that Haley's encountered, she's come up with a solution to something that has troubled all layers, uh, all levels of SOA. So what this system does, and it is a complete system, you've got your mocker block, that is your design aspect. What you do with the mocker block, you've got your frames, you've got your pieces, you construct your addition, you try out your blocks and then you go on with the system, you've got the rulers in place to go on and create your blocks. You don't have to worry about getting lost with the mass because that's something that really does confuse a lot of sewers. It's all covered in the system. You're also getting your binding uh, tool as well so we get to do our different bindings in the mix. You've got some clips which is just a nice little addition that Haley wanted to throw in. This allows us to keep our spools and our bobbins uh, together there so you're not getting them lost and also if they're different components so cotton nylon they're all staying the same there but ultimately I just want to hold this up because this gives you a gist of the potential you have with your mocker block system this is your design aspect so we have a frame that can also be extended so you have your one frame with extenders you have 64 patch planner pieces 
So this is where we mock up our block, we plan. You've got your four large squares in the mix there, you've got your 16 small squares, your eight half square triangles, your 16 quarter square triangles, your eight large rectangles, and your 12 narrow uh, rectangles in the mix. I think the best way to really see it, or to get an eye for understanding of why this is so special, is to see it in action. So Haley, I know you've got the frames. Now that's been extended, what well, you've got there. Um, I've just laid out the one that is special because you've got obviously different elements within it, which will go into each of those elements in the finer detail. So, oh, hold on a minute, have I... Okay. I'll let you sort that out while we're just going to sort out Ailey's mic. Can I also say, something that's proving very busy the previous hour, we've got the additions as well. I mean, really busy for that. With the additions, this would make it 128 pieces. What I would say is if you want to throw that into your basket with the one day special, suddenly it really opens up because then you can go to really go to town with your blocks and it's something a lot of viewers were doing and if you do put it in with your one day special, you can also spread that £20 across the flexi payments as well because obviously there's a flexi payment with the one day special. I decided okay. not to audition as a mime artist in this section, <laughs> okay. but would turn the voice on. For you a got... moment then you would think that I hadn't got a mic on, but there you go. Um, so yeah, I mean the system itself is made up of different elements which I'll explain to you but fundam uh, fundamentally you've got the frame that you spoke of now I have got the frame with the extender pieces in which I'll explain to you in a few moments but then you've also got the rules that will come alongside it within the one day special that will make it really easy for you to get started with your, your quilting and your cutting so I'm going to move that all out of the way for the time being because you will start off with your frame now your frame can be made up just of the four corners which can come together to create an aperture and it's this aperture that is kind of the area that we're going to be designing our block in and that's what the mocker block is all about it's about designing your quilt block that you will then go on to repli um, replicate to either make a cushion cover it could be a table runner it could be a quilt it could be whatever you like but these pieces here make it so as you can extend it so what you've got here is you've got the ability to create what we call a nine patch block because what they, we've got here is you've got obviously the aperture there which is your nine inches so because um, you've got your, your three blocks by your three blocks, of course, that's a three inch block um, patch and so on within there. You've got nine of those within your frame. And this is where you start building up your pieces to create your, your block, your design. So for instance, let's get started. Let's show you one that's actually made up out of fabric in a few moments. So start off with this one. Now, what I've got here is I've got um, the one day special um, patch pieces because uh, I keep them in my little grab and grow um, bag which we've got a pattern for on the show. Get your full instructions and this explains exactly what you're going to be doing when you're putting these together so as you introduce yourself to your nine patch and also your 16 patch with all your different pieces and you've also got your patch calculator which I'll explain to you in a moment. So that's always useful to have and I keep that handy in there. Got room for my frame, that's going to sit in there. A couple of little takeaway containers are always very useful to sit within that uh, um, bag there because this means that I've got the pieces that I would get within the one day special. So this is the contents of the one day special within these tubs. So you've got plenty there for you to start designing with. So you mm -hmm. might want to start off with your corners. So let's start off with the corners. Just and before I... we do this Hayley, yes. I've got a little challenge for you. Okay. Shall we just see it? And this is off the cuff, so I haven't discussed this with you before. Right. Shall we just see how many different blocks we can create? Okay, so yeah, you've, got, can do. You, you've got one there right now. Well, as soon as you start putting any of these pieces in, for instance, I've put the four corners in there. That's, that, traditionally, I think it's called a snowball. Yeah. So there so you've got, one. you can see your squares, you've got your half square triangle there. So that's one particular I'm block. I'm going to start counting up how many you can okay. do just off the top of your head now. Okay, now, we haven't planned this. That's a little bit of a hack that I've shown you there because what I've done is I've put a piece of white cardboard behind my frame. So fundamentally, that's the flip side. Now, it doesn't come with that. That's personal choice. You might want to have the transportability of it and keep those in those pieces but I've chosen to keep mine flat and I've gone for an extra set because it gives you more pieces to work with but it also means mm -hmm. I can design two blocks that will kind of work alongside yeah. each other in my finished project. And we've got the extenders, uh, the extender system at the bottom of your screen and so many of you are going for the one day special and then putting the extenders at the bottom of your screen in there. Do remember that will also allow you to split the price with the flexi payment from the one day special. Now each of these pieces are designed to kind of replicate your light and your dark fabric so on one side you can see 
black and on the other side you've got your white. So think about you're planning your quilt block in monochrome. Okay. You're doing it in black and white yeah. basically and then you're introducing your colours as you go. Mm -hmm. So there we go. So I've put those corners in place. You can see you've got your big triangles yeah. Yeah. and you've got um, your big triangles in your dark, your big triangles in the, in the light. The light. Yeah. You'll notice I'm not calling them their quilt names. Right. Their quilt names are half square triangles. But if I start talking to you and start saying right you need your three inch um, half square triangles. We're going to bring in three inch quarter square triangles. Mm. We're going to mix those up and it's like oh whoa whoa whoa. It's a bit confusing. Whoa, 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 just just strip it back, girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make it simple. And that's where this all came from. I enjoy the quilting side of it. I enjoy the sewing side of it. I do not like to know all the measurements. I just need to know what I need to know to clip by. So I'm going to use some of these small triangles now, which, okay. again, you can see on here, it tells me exactly what they are. And that's important because we will come back to that in a later stage. But each time I'm adding these in, are you still counting, Yanis? Well, OK, so wait, uh, this is two? Um, no. Well, I suppose we could say two because we made the snowball. Just, okay, just before you put that in, okay. you know on the previous show, mm -hmm. you put the, the sort of half triangles in between like our snowball. Okay, yeah, can like that. Can we do that? that? Yeah, yeah, we can, can do, we that. do that. Yeah, let's so let's do count that. that as a two. Let's count okay, those. Okay, so we've got our snowball to yeah. start with. Now right. I'm going to start putting in the, the little triangles. We'll just put yeah. those around the edge. Okay. So that's almost like a little frame. So okay. that's two designs that we've done just using your mocker block We've created the snowball, we've created this. This is on the fly, okay? So yeah. there's two designs. Okay. Then I'm going to put, bring in my other uh -huh. little triangles and I'm going to put those so as they make those little kind of bows, as you can see here. Yeah. So there you go. Put the bows in place. And there you go. Um, you've got those in place there. Three. So again, okay. three designs. But yeah. to, you could actually say, well, you only need two of those, so it could be four designs if you wanted to. Then I'm adding in these extra little triangles here. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to put those in place, to be honest, because the white backing that I've got there is kind of replicating it. Yeah. But I'm going to pop them in there just to so show all these pieces that I am mm. using are coming with a new one day special. So nice. that's the key thing with this one. Yeah. And then I'm just going to put those in place like that. Oh, no, turn that over. But then it, it could be that I look at this and I want to change it around and mix okay. it up a bit. I could do that quite easily if I wanted to. I'm just looking back at my design that I've got over there. Um, and then what I've actually done with the design that I'm going to show you is bring in another couple of those little triangles now I haven't actually got any more of those little triangles mm -hmm. left but it doesn't matter because I can see with that white card at the backing there I need my two light and my dark ones mm -hmm. um, either side so there we go so that we're is a quilt block done okay and we're, when and then, you say a quilt block you've mm -hmm. done four depending on how you did it, it could have been five designs just from that starting point mm -hmm. we're not saying that's all you can do with it that's just with Haley messing around for a few minutes off the top of her head just showing the principle the amount of designs but then we can play around with it we can discover new uh, new designs in there and it is that modular system that flexibility the fact that you can start creating your own blocks you're not governed by sort of traditional blocks that you always see here now you really get to play around but you're not going to get lost with the measurements you're not going to get flummoxed with all right so have I got the seam allowance here and this is something where a lot of crafters and sewers do get confused and we had that lovely email actually Haley from had quite uh, a few one viewer comes well, we had a lot but one yeah. viewer was saying they actually stopped creating their own box and so on because they were just lost. It was the mass. Uh, it was Evelyn or there. Evelyn, wasn't it? I think they yeah. emailed it. So once you've got your design, actually I'm jumping ahead there. I forgot mm -hmm. about my patch calculator. Let's come back to this. Rain it back in, Haley. Rain mm -hmm. it in. Don't get too carried away. So your patch calculator. Now, once you've decided on your final block, so yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to work with that. So what you need to do is almost make your shopping list of the pieces that you need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this. I'm going to bring in these little dividers just to show you because you've got obviously still your mm -hmm. nine patches. So we've got that patch there, one of the, that there, that there, and that there. Those are your three different patches across the top. And obviously you've got them working through your design. So you look at each of those patches that you've created. So the corner patches are all the same and they're made up of your two large triangles. So all I need to do is come to my patch calculator. I can see my two large triangles there and I need one, two, three, four. Now this patch calculator does come up with a new one day special. We're actually going to make it available as a PDF download on my Facebook page as well because you can photocopy it and use it over and over. But what mm -hmm. I tend to use is one of those dry markers that you use for your kitchen notice board mm -hmm. and I don't write it direct onto the sheet that comes with the one day special. So need four of those so I'm going to find where we've got that design there so you can see there. That that's replicating that exact same patch that we've got in the bottom corner there. You can see your dark and your mm -hmm. light there. Dark and your light there. So 
I'm going to need four of those, so I'll write that down there. I need four. Then I'm looking at these ones with the little triangles, and you can see that I need one in that top row, mm -hmm. three in the second row, and another one at the bottom there. So mm -hmm. we're talking one, two, three, four, five. So I find that again on my patch calculator. It's that one there. I need five of those. Now, if I'm making a, a cushion cover, that's all I need. I can go on and create. I don't need to, to multiply that at all. But obviously, if you're making a quilt and you're thinking, well, I'm going to make a quilt and I'm going to make, um, I don't know, it could be something like a, what did we do last time? I can't remember what we did. Was it, it was 12 six, patches? 12, yeah, it was 12. 12 yeah. patches. So number of blocks um, required for your project. So it reminds you there. So I'm going to need 12 of these for my quilt. Okay, so I'm going to need 12 of those as well because they obviously make that, uh, that block up together. Uh -huh. And then over here, all you need to do, and it actually explains it to you there, you take that number, multiply it by that number, and it gives you the number of pieces that you need. So what did we decide on this one? 48. Yeah, 48 there. So we need 48 of the small light. Mm -hmm. We need 48 of the small dark okay. and then it comes down to this one whoops it is pull that piece and we only to need five times 12 which is 60 of your light and exactly the same of your dark so there you go you can see that you know straight away before I cut a piece of fabric that is how many of those pieces I am going to need and that's the key thing that makes it so much simpler for me I don't need to know how big these pieces need to be I can figure that all out when I come to use the patch, um, patch maker square, which I will explain to you in a few moments. And that's a key. This is the first step of the one day special. And say so it was really born from a necessity. What Haley, as a sewer, as a quilter, this was the problem she was encountering all the time. She wanted a system where she could practically lay out, create her own blocks, try them out first and once she's tried them out and she's happy with them then it's having the calculator it's being able to and I've got to tell you we are busy for the second hour too we're really busy at launch two-thirds of the stock has gone let me put that into context this is stock that's meant to last 24 hours we're only 13 minutes into the second show so you have got your mocker block that is your system to design it is a design system allowing you to create your own blocks here then we've got our block calculator so we've created our design this shows you what you need to cut out very simple to use you've got all the blocks the different blocks that you're going to be creating this is included in the one day special you're also getting the pins as well that's just a nice bonus but now this is where it gets interesting we've designed our quilt our block I should say now we want to cut it out and we've got two different rulers to cut it out this ruler is very clever because and it's there's so much innovation here what Haley has developed with the mocha block there is nothing like this out there what Haley's developed with the ruler as well you'll notice you've got three different colors ranging from your black to your uh, blue and then to your red so black you're dealing with four inch blue you're dealing with three inch and red you're dealing with two inch so you are not going to get lost with that. You've also got this ruler here and with this ruler the whole system is all about stripping it back making life easy for you so Haley's just giving you inches we've also got the quarter inch, the half inch, the three quarter inch in there as well so as quilters these are the measurements that we deal with predominantly so you've got that ruler you're not going to be at loss so sometimes ruler systems they've got all these different measurements in there and half of them you never even use Haley's giving you the uh, ruler that you use then it gets interesting because we've created our block we've cut it up now we need to do our binding Haley's given you a system to do your binding so here we've got different sizes four different sizes with regard to our binding all on one exceptional tool so that's your binding square and let me just show you the difference with your binding square you can get all four of these bindings we saw in demonstration let me just separate that there we saw in demonstration in the launch hour how easy it is to create this binding perfectly so typically with binding it can be a bit of a fiddly job with the tool it suddenly takes all the hard work out of it it's so simple to do and it's something maybe we'll look at this out so you're getting your rulers you're getting your binding uh, system ruler in there as well you're also gonna get and this is just a nice little addition in the one day special these little clips and Haley wanted to add these in this is kind of really a bonus so if you've got a spool of thread and you've got the corresponding bobbin you can keep both together they're not going to get lost specifically this comes into its own if you've got say two white bobbins one's cotton one's nylon and you want to keep the respective maidens together that's your one day special can I just show you something
Now this is where it gets interesting because you think, okay, so what kind of things can I do? Everything that you're seeing here around me has been done using the system. Uh, designed on the mocker block, using the rulers to cut everything out. Looks incredible, right? So now we're really starting to discover our own identity as sewers. You're not restricted to patterns. You are going to start creating your own quilts. For instance, and you might be thinking, well, I need to be an expert. Or do I need to be an experienced sewer to use the system? Paula is a novice. She started, well, she bought her first, uh, not first, sorry, we bought a sewing machine. Uh, it was in March, beginning of this year. Was it her first sewing machine? Um, I think she had a sewing machine some time ago. Yeah. But yeah, she wanted a, a more modern one. Okay. And this is, and by her own admission, she says she is a no, novice sewer. Look at what Paula created. That is incredible. That is Paola's own design. And what Paola was explaining to me is, as a paper, we know what a talented crafter Paola is as a paper crafter. But when she tried to translate her skills as a designer from paper craft to soft craft, where she came unstuck was the measurements. Because if I pop that down, as a paper crafter, she would cut up a square, say a piece of paper, and then she'd stick it back. And all you'd, all you'd have to do is deconstruct it, play it around, stick it back on, done. But you can't do that with sewing because you have to allow for the seam allowances and this is where so many people do get lost. It's measuring, I need seam allowances here and do. You don't need to worry about any of that. You're mocking up with your mocker block. The rulers help you as well. So they, once you've done your design, they accommodate for your seam allowance. You've got everything you need and then you've got your binding system <coughs> in the mix as well. 39.97. This has been four years in development, and I've got to say that haley has been working with Crafts 2 as well, and that is why you're able to get such a competitive price. 19, Haley, 19.99, your first flexi payment is amazing. That's it. I would certainly consider adding in that extra set as well, because obviously the block I've created there, I've used. You can see with regards to the triangles, I've got no more triangles left with this particular design. So if, like me, you do like your triangles, and you might want to add extra bits in there, or maybe work on the larger frame, because obviously you're going to need more pieces because that's what you need to fill in that area I would certainly add in that additional set because it gives you lots of scope um, so yeah do consider that now this block is the one that we created just a few moments ago I'm going to show you how you can cut out your pieces in just a few moments but what I wanted to show is how that transfers over into a design so that was the design we've just created this is where you're actually bringing in your fabric so we've got some cushion cover kits that are on the show where you've got a mixture of your light and your dark fabrics so with these you can see you've got your dark wine tone and your lighter uh, mm. wine tone but that is replicating that exact design that we've just been looking at there so that's when you actually look at it and you, you kind of you can see where it's going but you're probably looking at this thinking well hang on a minute that is a lot smaller than that well the reason being is the actual rule that i'm going to be showing you the patch maker has got different sizes on there so if i bring this in and i will explain that to you when we start cutting in a few moments you will see you can cut out either two inch squares or your triangles to make your your squares um, mm -hmm. is a two inch size your three inch size which is the one that i was talking about when i was dis um, designing it and then you've got your four inch design and what and that color -coded means it as well sorry you've color coded it too. well that's it yeah to make it nice and easy and that's going to sit beautifully on any fabric you'll be able to see that even if you're working on black fabric you can still see those lines so what that means is if you were working with your three inch squares which is what we were, were designing with so you mm -hmm. want it to represent replicate that exact design there you go that is going to be something similar okay so that is that size mm -hmm. but because you've got on here the smaller size your two inches what happens when you're working with the two inches well there you go you get an itty bitty little block it's exactly the same size it doesn't matter that the pieces are three inches you can still take that design aspect it's the cutting that makes the difference but then what about if you want to go the other way which is what we did with the cushion cover we've taken it to the larger size which is your four inch and that means that I'm making that cushion cover quite easy, adding a little bit of sashing there, and there you go, you've got your fabulous design. But one thing that I did notice as I was working with these is you've got your smallest size being your two inches, your largest size being your four inches. What that means is if you're working with the two inches, they will actually sit 
within that four inch block um, oh, as well, yeah. patch as well. So if you were just working with your two inch pieces, you could actually make a block that's made up of 24 patches, yeah. which gives you a huge amount of design scope because you, you're breaking it right the way down. Mm -hmm. And if you are going for the larger size, actually you've got 36 patches wow. if you're using the smallest and one in the largest setting. Hayley, that block you've got in your hand there, you're yes. also showing us the binding square and how we can use that to trim off? Well, that's it. Well, the binding square is already... Well, it's just throwing everything like being at home here. So the binding square is actually created um, to measure three and a half inches. So what that means is, if you've created your blocks um, and you're wanting to trim them down, make sure that they're the right size. I mean, this is oversized because it's four inches. You can actually position this up and you can actually trim that off so they measure three and a half inches which is going to be the size that you need with your seam allowance involved uh -huh. but it does double up because what you can use it for is to cut your strips or create your strips of fabric and then actually create your own binding so here you've got a one inch a one and a half a one and three quarters and a two inch wide uh -huh. so uh, there you go you how can see that is from that little tool as well how hard is it to make to, to was typically without a tool how would you make binding well you'd cut You'd have to cut it into your strips. Okay. You'd potentially have to join it, create a mitre. Well, the other tool is going to help mm -hmm. you with that. But then it's a case if you've got to fold it, you've got to iron it, you've got to keep moving it. Mm -hmm. And I don't like getting the iron too close to my fingers, no, um, I must admit. It's a safety thing. I've, heard, but, I've yeah. actually heard doing shows yeah. before with binding, I've heard that a lot. Yeah. So how does the binding ruler, how does that help us then? The uh, well, basically, tool, you would take your fabrics, and um, I've not got a strip cut, but I can show you in a few moments. And basically, mm -hmm. you, oh, your fabric is just fo folded over like so, and you're feeding it through and then ironing it. You will actually be able to see that in the launch hour. We did cover mm -hmm. it during that one, and I'm sure we'll cover it as the hour progresses. But basically, you feed it through, and then you're kind of pressing it and ironing. And you can even heat um, set, uh, not heat set it, um, kind of use the friction of pulling it through to actually get those uh, little um, kind it's a, of seams it's in place. such a clever system. We will look at that later on. I know you yeah, want to get to putting no your problem. block together. Yeah. Well, this is it. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, so that was basically just showing you if you do decide to actually go for any of the cushion kits, then you have obviously, obviously got the fabrics there. Yeah, now we have got them here. Do you mind if I just show them no, to everyone? No, please carry on. I'll get myself ready for the next step. Four different options with regard to the uh, cushion kits. I have to say, Hayley's so good. Every time I do a show with Hayley, handmade by Hayley, she works incredibly hard to source good fabrics for you. Look at these. I mean, instantly, you get, they feel good, they look good. So uh, these are your cushion kits. You've got the option with blue, green, white, or beige. And what you're getting in each of the kits, now we're just going through the options, uh, 28.99. But what you're actually getting in each of the kits is two half meter fabrics. You're getting one meter of your lining fabric and you're getting two zips for 28.99. But it is a beautiful, decadent, oh, I love that blue, the beige, the now, how well would all of these sit together? But let's just say you were going to go for a couple. The blue and the red would work superbly together. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my fault. Just saying there. The blue and the red go very nicely together. But equally, the green works. The They are all designed to work together. So we are getting the zips. You're getting the, the meter of lining. And then you're getting half a meter of your contrasting fabrics as well. 28.99. If you do want to pop those in your basket, 686.071. And it's perfect for your mocha block because you've got your light and your dark, and that's what you want is contrast. With regard to the one day special, we're busy for this. And Haley designed this. Uh, working on a channel, especially a, a shopping TV channel or uh, well, a shopping channel in general, being able to stand in front of you and say, we've got something that is truly unique. And it is, and we know it is, because when you get something that so many people are investing in and buying into, and because you've got something special here, have you ever struggled in creating your own blocks, your own quilts? Do you just stick to patterns because you're like, no, I get lost, I've had real problems with this, headaches. All of a sudden, you're going to start getting creative. Like, for instance, this is just one example of many, but this has been made using the mocha block. So this is the extender, so we've gone to our bigger frame and we've created this beautiful scene. But you were able to do that 
with the mocha block. And one thing Paola was telling me, where she's fallen down in the past, because she has had a go. She's such a talented designer, Paola. And she was like, look, I want to create my own design. She knows she could do it, but when she tried to translate it to uh, sewing and quilting, she was finding she was getting it wrong with the measurements. That was the key. She was finding that seam allowance was throwing her off, and then she was wasting a lot of fabric, and it was a bit disheartening. Haley very kindly let her try out the mocha block just as a testing, and being a novice crafter and sewer, especially not crafter, novice sewer, I should say, she's a very experienced paper crafter, she found it revolutionized how she approached it. Let me just show you a testimonial. This is from Paola. So these are Paola's own words, and that's powerful. Look, we all know Paola as well. She speaks from the heart. So Paola was saying she used the system as a complete novice quilter. She bought a machine in March. Uh, she said she had a chance to test Haley's mocha block system. As someone who has done graphic design, uh, she thought designing her own blocks would be easy. However, no matter how many diagrams and calculations she tried, nothing worked, so she found she was wasting a lot of fabric. What impressed Paola the most with the mocha block was not only do you have lots of, uh, not only do I have a foolproof system of working out how many pieces each fabric uh, that she needs, but she can cut the fabric confidently with precision and she's no longer wasting the fabric. Being a designer is one thing, being a quilt designer is something for uh, something else. Thanks to Haley's mocha block system, Paola feels confident to design her very own quilt blocks with accuracy, creativity, and confidence. But most importantly, she's having fun while she's doing it. Thank you so much, Paola. That is the key. This is different. This is a problem. If you're a sewer or a quilter, I would say there is a very high probability you've encountered the issues that Haley was struggling with for years and years and years. So she was like, look, I need to come up with a system that will be able to tackle this problem. And she has in a number of ways because you've got the design aspect with the mocha block. So that's your first step. You're designing all your own blocks. You're seeing if it works. But then going on from that, and there's so many different permutations. It is a true modular system. You've got your calculator. That's your patch calculator. So now we can accurately ascertain how many pieces we need to create our block. Then what Paola has done is giving you the tools and resources. So I say Paola, I'm so sorry. I'll see Paola. Paola has not done this. <laughs> Haley, I'm so sorry. What, uh, what Haley's done, she's given us the rulers to then cut out accurately. But what I do like, it's the little touches. So Haley, again, as a sewer, as a crafter, she's like, I wanted to have the different color systems. So she's got the black. You know you're working with your four inch. If you suddenly go onto your uh, blue, now you're working with your three inch. If you go onto your red, you're working with your two inch. She's giving you the larger ruler just with inches. She's also giving you the binder square in the mix as well to create your own binding. And you've got your clips and you've got your pins. All of that for $19.99 today, uh, saving £10, and you can also uh, throw in the extender or the additions as well. It's £20 if you want to get more pieces and really have some fun and explore what this system can do. We're going to continue with our demonstration from Hayley. We are indeed, and I'm just getting a couple of fabrics ready just to kind of depict your light and your dark fabrics. Um, and what I've got is I've got the blue, which okay. I've got here, which I love this blue fabric. Um, and we've got these on the show. I think it's um, Fabric Freedom um, kind of blenders, but they're really useful for fabrics and you can obviously choose these as you've got your light and your dark so I've got my two fabrics here kind of depicting my light and my dark as you can see so you've got your purple there and then obviously your lighter ones I'm going to put them right sides together to start with and then what we're going to do is actually start cutting these out and getting them into the right kind of sizes that we're going to need so um, folding that down the middle like so obviously you can press it a little bit more so um, to make sure everything lines up perfectly. Now, um, the little ruler that we've got is going to help us to cut out the shapes that we're needing. So first of all, you just need to decide what size you're wanting to do your pieces at. So I think we'll, get, we'll stick for the three inches because that's kind of the way that it was um, designed and it gives me an idea of the sizing. You just need a couple of straight edges to get started. So I'm just going to line up the bottom so as I've got the line running with the cutting mat there. And I'm bringing in my rule, um, which comes in my mitered rule, which comes in with your one day special. And I'm just going to cut nice, neat edge down the edge like so. 
and then equally so I'm going to do it on this side rotate around and again just trim it off and make sure that you've got a nice neat edge and again you've got the lines on there making it nice and easy not over complicating it that's the key thing I've simplified this ruler down to the information that we need to know now when you come in with your your patch plan um, and square maker all you need to do is take the corner so here it will show you whereabouts depending on what you're working with so let's point out what we're going to do we're going to be working with your three inches so we're going to be creating our quarter square triangles they're the little ones and the reason I know that they're the little ones is because it says it on there QST you don't need to know what it stands for this is where the jargon can be so so confusing so all you need to know is on this particular size it's a three inch but it could be a four inch it could be a two inch it could be whatever you like but the key thing is it's a QST and that's the thing that we need so again we look on the ruler QST is there and then all we need to do is make sure that the dot that you've got on that line is on the corner of your cut fabric so your two edges that you've neatened up are down at the bottom here so that's where we're going to put that and then all I need to do make sure it's lined up and then I can literally just go up the side there with my blade I usually go just a little bit beyond so as I can actually take my fabric and sl um, flip it over and then what that means is I can come across then as well so there we've got those fabulous pieces oops Daisy, it didn't quite catch that bit there there you go so I've got now that piece that when I actually put my line across there I can cut that we've seen these stitched out hundreds of times here at Achanda you can put your line there if you're wanting to take your um, your pen we have got the heat raisable pens oh, on the there. show you're getting you a go. set of one. two we'll just flash the details onto your screen I think they're $13.99 and you're also getting your bobbins in there as well pre-wound bobbins too so you're getting all the bobbins that's pretty good you know there's pretty well bobbins they're handy. nice well they're useful it saves you having to pay things like um, mm -hmm. <laughs> what we call bobbin roulette which is bobbin. something that Natasha regularly think then uh, talks about and it's like will you have enough thread there to mm -hmm. finish the project well by having them pre-wound they're ready there so you can kind of pop those into your machine and we've got the nice uh, different ways of getting hold of those it's so universal as well so um, obviously I've never used them in every single um, machine in the universe but all the ones I've come across have been okay and that they are designed to be universal to use in different machines so nice. um, brilliant way so there we go so I've created my little um, patch there I could have quite easily gone on and created another one so again I'm lining it up there and then you're cutting it as we mentioned mm -hmm. there there. so there you go I could do that there I could cut there again so up to the top there flip the fabric out of the way go across there and then do exactly the same put that line on there but what that means is I would stitch as we've often seen either side of that line cut down the middle and then you do your line going across there but what that means is straight away I am cutting four small triangles another four small triangles another four small triangles so you can see quickly and easily you are getting to that final point where you need to be creating those 48 to make your project so that kind of shows you how you can do that quickly and easily nice. using that ruler um, and then yeah as I say the fun is in the sewing and not in the cutting and the maths um, but then yeah. it's can you show us those are some of the different blocks that we can make? Well, this is it. Should we have a, yeah. should we have a session of block making? Yeah, let's do Should this. we have a bit of a play? Because these, again, are some of those different elements that you've got. So these are some of the pieces that we've got. And um, I'll show you a qu some of them in a scenario of a quilt in a few moments. But these are some of the ones that we've got here. So whether it's a nine patch that you're going for, mm -hmm. as you can see there, using solid squares there, some of those little small triangles at the side there, mm -hmm. or whether you are um, playing around with this particular one, which you can see nice. there again, you've got kind of got your, your rectangle. We These could, are all shapes you're just designing could, yourself. Yeah, Haley, if you go back to that last one, mm -hmm. if we played around with that, I reckon you could make a nice little Christmas tree effect. You could do, yeah, and that's the beauty, and we'll play around with some shapes in a few mm -hmm. moments. These are just a few of those designs I've come up with playing around. The cushion that you've got behind you is the fabulous little house. I was so thrilled to bits creating this, because this is mixing up the triangles that you've got there with some of the rectangles that we've got in the shape. And what I did was, oh, there you go, letter A, you could be creating with these as well. Loads and loads of different ideas. And the cushion that you've got there, created using the little house concept, I actually did a bit of embroidery on top of that with my machine so it, it's whether you're the most novice of sewers yeah. or whether you are an accomplished um, sewer then you are going to get loads with regards to uh, nice loads of enjoyment out of this as well. That's nice. 
Brilliant, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those pieces that we had in our, our planner and I'm going to pop those back in my little tub and put those away because I've been quite meticulous in the way that I'm doing these demonstrations. So up until now, I've only been using the quantity that you get within your one day special. But I know lots of you have been adding in those extra sets, which does make life a little bit easier, to be honest, because, of course, then you haven't got that restriction of kind of figuring out different hacks and things like that, because mm -hmm. you can literally get started. So you start, you might want to start off within the, the centre. Should we do one of the larger ones this time? Yeah, let's done do a that. Small one before haven't we she says what's she done with the frame oh it's over here there we go now behind us we've got a frame with a zigzag yeah and that is just made up of large triangles oh, okay just the large triangles so the way that um, it started and again it's one of those things you can play around with so you've got your darker fabric there well you decide the darker fabric is it the burgundy or would you class the the, the patterned there's your two differentials with this one. It's entirely up to you. But this is one of those ones that, again, you just start playing. So I have to keep looking over my shoulder to see how I did it. So there you go. So it started off like that. And then I think it goes, where am I? Um, so top and I'm just going over my yeah. shoulder looking and at here. Just so it. There you go. That's, that's right. It, yeah. That's it. Top and tail them. So mm -hmm. all the way through, you're topping and tailing these. So again, that one would go there. And then you come back in with your larger ones and you do your second row below. Or it could be that you... I mean, I'm just kind of going a bit free reign now, so I'm doing it the opposite way around. So now I'm going to do this, but I, mean, I don't know how this is going to work out. I might play around with it, um, change it around. It's, it's entirely up to you. The whole point is, at this stage, you are designing, you are creating your block, and then you'll go back in, you'll change certain elements as you go. So, for instance, if I'm doing this and I'm thinking, mm, yeah, I don't know if I like that. I'm going to change. It looks kind uh, of. Mm. We can make a pinwheel. I'm just looking. You're going to discover sorts. different different ways. Well, this is it. And things like pinwheels uh, wheels are very traditional styles, and that's the key thing. So you can keep it traditional if you want. Mm -hmm. My favourites, though, are working with the little ones, uh, the little triangles. What are the things I do love doing? So I'll build up a frame. So putting the little ones down the side here, like so. So right. again. Large edge against the edge, like so. And we'll could do we that use the little the ones to create par prairie points? Um, well, yeah, you could do. Yeah, if you, you want to. I mean, par prairie points are done more so with the folding oh, of your okay. fabrics than anything. Um, corners, let's bring in the corners, like mm -hmm. so. Um, so. What about like flying geese? Could we do flying geese? Flying geese are made with triangles, yeah. But you can use them for your traditional designs if you want. It's not a problem at all. I just like the idea of kind of making my own designs mm. with these. So um, you were talking earlier on about pinwheels. Well, pinwheels, you would be putting in your triangle and your triangle. You'd be putting in your triangle. I've got to remember, rotate um, your triangle there. So you might think, well, that's a bit mixture well, of looks making good. your own frame. Um, now, I like that. the white area is because I've put a piece of board behind my frame. So if you haven't and you're just using it on something like you're cutting that, then all you need to do is flip over those extra pieces that you've got. So you've got your half square triangle with your dark, and then you've got your light. So you flip that over, and that makes you dark and your light there, as you can see. So you're building up your design. Um, and then you can start deciding, well, what am I going to put in these spaces? Am I, I going to leave it as white space? Because if I leave it as white space, then how do I fill that in? Well, I need to use a big triangle and, and a little, little triangle. And then that uh, will give you that shape that you need to create clever. that patch. You've then made it into a square that you can then attach to the next square, to the next square, and obviously similarly over this side here. Yeah. But then you might look at that and think, well, hang on, what if I was to put a dark triangle in there? What sort of changes am I making to the design then? And that's the beauty. You start adding in those additional shapes and you start changing the oh, look yes. altogether like of your patch and your block as you go there. So now mm. you can see that we've elongated hey, that it, it looks more good. like rectangles. But this is the joy, and I think so many people are attracted to quilting, especially creating your own blocks, because the fun bit is creating it. But here, you're not wasting any fabric. You're not going to have to worry about getting it wrong. You're not going to have to worry about getting confused with measurements, and that's something so many crafters have talked about when they've gone on to design their own. The system does it for you. This is the design aspect with your mocker block. 
you've got everything that you need and then we've got the rulers to go on and cut our fabrics but most importantly you also have your patch calculator as well so if you've ever created a block and you're like okay but how many bits do I need you have the patch calculator here that you will use so you will not get lost you won't get confused it's everything that you need a complete system that stripped it back made it easy for any level of crafter whether you've just started out or you're an experienced crafter you are going to be able to tackle your own quilt for instance I'm just listening to Kim my producer in my ear she uttered the words that she would like to design her own quilt she's not a sewer she's never sewn in her life but looking at the system she feels she can have a little go if Kim could do it anybody can do it and it's all down to the uh, system now once you've actually laid your pieces down as I've done here you can start looking at it and then you might start changing your design so you might think well yeah yeah I kind of like that frame that light there but I'm going to change it I'm going to take that out now and I'm going to put in a little triangle there and see the difference that it makes and you can see here you are changing that design all the way through and that is the beauty of this it is something that you can change over and over again like so um, so with regards to this so yeah it's just nice and easy for you to do that well, if you carry on doing shape. that Hayley if you just do it for the other little bit then suddenly you're creating another design within the center so it's layer upon layer of detail that's it so i think you have seen that way yeah. around and then just one in the back and then that one there, there. Yeah, i think i've got to put one in there but th yeah oops no it's that way around there you go but see oh, now we're discovering uh, no. no it was that way there you go <laughs> and there you go but you see all the time you're discovering and you're making new designs mm -hmm. this isn't a block this doesn't exist as far as I am aware you have created it now there's nothing stopping you making that multiplying that making it into a quilt pattern um, I know we've got people who have bought these because they've emailed me um, in between the shows and said that they've bought it we have got crafters guests here who potentially could be making quilt quilt kits Wow. using these to design their blocks to go as you can see there as well so there's loads of ways you can play with this but ultimately it works alongside the other bits and pieces so as I say okay. we've got um, and it does appeal to all levels of sewers and well, quilters and also it's one of those mm. things can I just show you yeah. this is one of the cushions that I made up using some of the blue fabric okay. and the beauty is with quilting you only use very small pieces so this was the blue fabric that we've got so I made up a cushion there so you can see you've got your squares there so let me just use um, my little kind of my, my little framers here to show you mm -hmm. so if I put that there you'll see that we've got pieces like we just looked at there which are your quarter square triangles yeah so you've got your dark and you've got your light so that's another one of those that's another one there there's mm -hmm. another one there over here you've just got your regular squares as you can see there over here you've got a rectangle attached to um, a square um, mm -hmm. and uh, again you can see a square there so when you put them all together that looks brilliant I'm very happy with that but this was made out of, or should I say this is the two the two half meters of fabric I've cut nothing else out of this mm -hmm. so I am left with that amount of fabric and I've only made one cushion cover so you can see it's only using the smallest amount of fabrics you're so only using those little bits that have been cut out there obviously I've added yeah. in my extra fabric there how many cushion covers do you reckon out of one lot we can make? Out of one lot, I think you could make if you're doing something like this you're gonna make at least four of those Wow. because you're only using the smallest amounts and that's the key thing they really do go a long way mm -hmm. um, and obviously you've got your back of your cushion um, in with the kit if you want to do that use it so easily make two there as well that's it yeah and yeah. um, the other fabric that you've got these are just designs when you start working with them to show off those designs so you've got your dark fabric again there as you can see dark fabric here and these will stand out more so when I start quilting them together that's what happens with the big quilt behind you with the, mm -hmm. the kind of the squares and the frames oh, yeah. on the diagonal when I made that they kind that's of so it, it was lovely it's actually the one that's on the packaging um, but then I actually that came in and cool. did a little bit of free motion work on it and it did make a difference with regards to it yeah. and that is the key thing um, it really does make the design pop when you start adding in that free motion work I'm just looking at this quilt I love the design and it's one of those when you see it from afar as well you appreciate 
the design just up close and also stepping back from it we appreciate all different shapes too and you can start seeing it coming to light. Uh, I'll tell you what we should do now, let's take this opportunity to have a look at some more examples and how you can use our phenomenal one day special. We are busy for the one day special that I've been really conscious this hour, I didn't want to keep on driving and saying oh we're here, we're here, we're here because I want you to really get a true appreciation of what you're getting but trust me we are busy for our one day special. We're just going to take a look at some finished examples, here we go. And it gives you an idea, and that really is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can achieve with this fantastic system. Your design aspect with the mock and block, then going on to your patch calculator, which allows you to calculate all the fabric that you need, so you're not going to waste any. And then we have the rulers to bring it to life. And finally, you have your binding square as well, so that allows you to create binding with ease. Everything that you're getting here... For $19.99, your bundle, I haven't even said, you're also getting the pins, and you're also getting, this is nice, these are cute. So, uh, your little, how are we describing these? Thread clips, uh, that you yeah. can keep it, yeah, They're you're getting those. to keep your bobbin and your spool together, so if you've got a pairing that you want to keep together, rather than rattling around in your sewing box, that's the way to do it. It's a great bundle, you are getting so much with your one day special. Have a look at all of this. This is just your mocker block. 64 pieces in total. So, what this does, firstly we've got our frame. You've also got your extender with the frame as well, so we can make it larger. Uh, you've got your 64 patches there as well, going through. So, we've got our four large squares, our 16 small share, uh, squares, our eight half square triangles, our 16 quarter square triangles, eight large rectangles, and 12 narrow rectangles. All of that included in your mocker block. Uh, can I just draw your attention as well? Down here, so many of you, and I, I really would advise, if your budget can stretch, if you want to get the most out of your system, please consider putting the extender in there because what they do, it gives you so much more versatility. You're just going to have more shapes at your disposal to really take on those intricate shapes, but also you can create a second frame as well. So what we can do, have two frames side by side and see how they work. So uh, if you do put that in your basket with the one day special, you can split the price of both elements. So you're not paying 20 pounds today, you're paying 10 uh, and in total it would be 29.99. Okay, Hayley, what you got? Um, well, it's just started sewing, really. Something else I've thought about as well, if with the One Day Special, obviously you've got the whole bundle and the rulers are brilliant to work with, but it might be that you're not actually wanting those, you just want to go for the mocker block. Well, yeah, certainly take advantage of it at the bottom, but I would certainly consider going for the rulers because it all makes sense and it all comes together. Um, the pieces that I just um, cut up, uh, using the the the, uh, the ruler, the patchmaker ruler, um, I've just put the line across there, the diagonal, as you would normally. Quite often, you see many of our guests doing that. Put the line there, and we're just stitching quarter of an inch away. So I'm just doing that on all of these. These are the ones that I cut a little bit earlier on. So the beauty is, when I was making these up, these finished samples. Instead of me thinking to myself, oh my goodness, I love sewing, but this is going to be such a chore getting these together. I just could not get over how quickly the, uh, the blocks came together and how quickly I was able to kind of create with them. So following this through here, so I'm going to go down the line again here onto this piece and then the last piece because we cut out four pairings. Um, flip that over and there we go. Away down there again following the line. 
Now these are the four little squares that we cut out and of course we were making these into the small triangles which also translates as quarter square triangles. But as we say, so we're keeping it simple, we're not over complicating things because we don't want to. So we've got big triangles and little triangles because at the end of the day that's exactly what they are. They're big or little. Um, I'm going to move my machine out of the way because I'm going to use that again in a few moments. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my ruler and I'm just going to go along that line there with my rotary cutter which I've put out of reach. There we go, got it. Cut those in half like so. There we go. And I'm just going to do that with each of these again there. So again, corner to corner, like so. You may prefer to use the edge that you've got with your mitre, because that's the other thing. Depending on the size of the block that you're working with, you could potentially use that mitre along that corner if you find it easier if you're lining up. But as I say, the ruler there will just help you just go across the edge there, like so. And then the last set that we've got, oh, didn't quite catch that one. There we go. Oh, gosh, come on, Hayley. You've done this before, love. Um, and then uh, you work your way. Now, one of these, I did notice, I did get it a bit close to the salvage edge. So when we actually open these up um, and press them out, you will see that we've got a little bit that's a mark that, that is going to show through. So when you're doing your quarter square triangles, that is your first stage. Mm -hmm. Move these out of the way. Bring in my little pieces. Little pieces, little pieces, bring my iron in. I keep standing this iron up, and the trouble is when you stand it up, it turns off, but anyway. So, all I'm going to do now is give those a little press. I need, oh, the iron's not doing too badly. Give them a little press. This is the one that, oh, it's not too bad. Um, again, press to the dark side, as you do with those. So these ones, straight away from those four pairings, we're making loads of these pieces, but do you remember, I mean, how big is this square? Do you know, Yannis? Did you pick up when I said what size this square Four needed inch. to be? Well, I've got no idea, oh, okay. to be honest. Because I don't know the actual measurement that I need in order to make my quarter square triangles. Oh, okay. I know that when I've finished, it's going to be three inches. That's oh, okay. all that I need to know. So it'll be three inches when I finish, but the actual measurement I didn't need to know because the ruler has done it for me. And that's um, where you're saying, like, typically in the past, where a lot of sewers do get lost, Paula uh, commented on that, it's getting bogged down in the measurements. So what you try to do with the system is really strip it back to the only information that we really need. The information that we need is that they finish at three inches. Yeah. That's all that we need. And I know yeah. that if I've got three blocks across, it's going to measure mm -hmm. nine inches across. So there we go. So those are our pieces that we create. Just move that out of the way. And then all you're going to do is you're going to come in and you're going to line them up opposite like so. Just need them to cool down a little bit because the, um, the pen obviously it won't write if it's on a hot fabric because mm -hmm. it's heat erasable. Yeah. <laughs> so it will disappear. So okay. don't ask me how I know that. Um, and then all I'm going to do is just very, very quickly, um, I'm just going to draw that little line. Again, mm -hmm. going back to my ruler. This is why. And I must admit, when I first got started with these, I thought, right, I've got to use these rulers. I've designed these rulers. Um, I've got to make sure that I use them and I don't go back to my rulers that I've got hanging up in my craft room. Mm. Do you know what? I don't even go near those ones now. Oh, and wow. part of the reason is some of them are huge rulers because I thought when I got started, when you're doing your quilting, I'll get the biggest ruler that I can possibly get because that's the one that I, that's going to do all the work that I need. I'm going to mm. be able to use it for all the jobs, ticks everything. Mm -hmm. But then it's so, so cumbersome. It's, yeah. it's like two feet long, this cut. This and now I'm doing little pieces like this. I don't need a big, big ruler like that. Mm -hmm. So. I've just done two of those little patches here because I know we are running out of time here and I just wanted to show how a couple of these come together. So there we've got, so I'm just going to come around here, I'm going to come around the other side there and then we will cut through these nice and show done. you how quickly and easily, without any maths, without having to, to figure it out, um, to, to measure the, the shapes or the sizes or do the maths, I will have created some sets of little square, little triangles, which in the quilting world are known as quarter square triangles. But um, whoops a daisy, that's my fault because I was sewing on nothing. You shouldn't really sew on nothing, you should always sew on fabric. Mm -hmm. There you go, run that through. Very mindful of the time, so we are rapidly running out of time. But if I just bring those in, whoops, don't suggest you do that usually. Um, but I can open these up once I've cut them. I'll just undo it with the scissors because it's for speed. So there we go. Cut those up. It shows you can actually do it just with your scissors as well. And there you go. You can see I've made those little patches that were part 
of that original design. In fact, we've changed the design around that much. I haven't got the original design there because okay. it swapped it round. But it but shows how it works. Unfortunately, it time has beaten us. <laughs> what I would suggest, and so many of you are going for the one-day special, please also consider the extenders. And the only reason I say that, that extender set, it really will allow you to get the most out of your one-day special. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I can't say where it's going, but I did have a chat with Haley, and she let me in on some uh, very special information. It's privy. Uh, but all I can say is this is the beginning of a very special system that you are buying into. You will not regret it. So we got the lovely Sue coming up next with design and so what a lovely evening it's been here at Hochanda. Then we've got Haley back. This is a uh, repeat of the one day special. And after that, a crafty devil's happy hour. Hi, I'm Joe from the Mill Shop Online. Welcome to the Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Coming up in the future with Ho Chanda, the Mill Shop Online is going to bring lots more collections of beautiful fabrics, all inspired for your crafters, for your upholsterers, soft furnishings, everything for every project. All our designs for Hochanda, all our crafting elements, always very unique and very exclusive for Hochanda. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Meal Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the Chanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved 
they listen to me the demonstrator and you the customers and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Well, hello, everybody. What a nice evening we're having here at Hochanda. So we've got a great hour ahead with the lovely Sue and Design and So. Hello, Sue. Hello. You had a great hour earlier on. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was really good. You're always so good at bringing us lovely projects to do. Thank you. Yeah, you can see. And oh, look, coming from a designer, I think you, you give us projects that are very achievable, but also something that it's different that we'd want to get. Yes, that's right. I mean, I try to make it so that they're not too complicated yeah. um, because I want the beginner as well mm -hmm. to be able to do it. I like how you get passionate about your fabrics, that you all the components you put into your kits. Like, for instance, this is a good example. You've got an oil cloth for these beautiful Christmas-inspired bags. Now, one thing we want to point out, both bags here are exactly the same kits. Uh, some people are saying this looked bigger. The only reason is because it has been quilted, so you've just got a little bit of quilting inside to give it a bit more, uh, it's just the finishing yeah, I, touch. I, literally, I cut the lining out uh, with a, a lightweight wadding um, that I tend to use all the time, yeah. and, and just quilted it just to see what it was going to look like. Um, so that when people are thinking themselves, you know, they know what it's going to look like. I like this. So Winterland or your Multi Elf, those are your choices. Two different options, but what a great bag. And that oil, look, oil cloth bag is very handy. It is, and it's not a, it's not a, um, a hard oil cloth. No. It's a nice weight. Well, yeah. It's very easy to work with. Oh, that's cute, the Winter Wonderland. And this <laughs> has actually been a very popular option. So uh, 19 99 What are we getting in the kit, Sue? Um, what you're getting is the oil cloth, mm -hmm. the lining, and the strapping okay plus the full instruction pattern yeah um, I mean as I said I, I made it up earlier so if anybody missed that show and they do it on watch again yeah uh, but it is it's so easy it's just so nice to work with of course yeah it's, it's soft it's pliable um, and I showed people how to um, if you haven't got a Teflon foot how you can sew um, if I can find a piece of uh, fabric, I can show them again. Um, because oil cloth, can, you know, some people can be a bit frightened of it. Yeah. But you don't have to. You don't need a special foot. It's nice if you've got it, right. but you don't need it. Um, as I was saying earlier, if I just cut a piece off here. Yeah. Oh, and when, you, when you're actually laying um, pattern out, if you just, when you fold it, just push your hand on, it'll stick. Oh, so okay. no pins, no yeah. clips, it'll just stick together. Well, that's very, that's so a good tip. When, when you're sewing, <laughs> nice. for those that um, don't know what a Teflon foot is, yeah. that's a Teflon oh, foot. Okay. And what it does, it slides over. So you do need do need that yeah that you, that you don't effort. need it if you've got it it's a bonus okay but um, there's a way of working around it without mm -hmm. having to go to the expense with a Teflon foot okay it'll just slide yeah nice without a Teflon foot yeah take take it back nice. Well, don't put it away, I'll forget where it is. Now, without a Teflon fit, if I try and sew mm -hmm. that, okay. it's exactly the same, it's the same piece of material. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't go anywhere because oh, okay. it won't feed. Got to see it. I've just got to say, too, 80% uh, of the stock's gone with our uh, winter, is it the Wonderland? Winterland. Winterland, sorry, Winterland. Yeah. So eighty percent of the stock's gone there. Now I am conscious of the fact we've got lots to show. So what I'm going to do is whiz down the counter, and then I promise we're going to get back to see for the proper uh, demonstrations. That was just a little add-on 
don't feel that like I'm not taking you away from anything. No, we we're just no, showing no, you that there. Once yeah. Gone down the Amazing. Okay, so there we go. That's our first option. 1999 your price, 495504 your item number. We're going to move on. We've lost an item here. Now, these are our handbag organizers. We did have a cat option. I'm sorry. Cat option has gone. These have been a revelation. 11.99 at your price. Now, you are getting your feature fabric. You're also getting your lining fabric in the mix. You're getting wadding and you're getting your hardware as well. All of that and also some, uh, some I don't want to say hoop and loop. I don't want to say branding. A hook and loop in there as well. So you're getting your hook and loop uh, too. All of that included and the pattern, 11.99. That is just a ridiculously good price. This, we are limited stock for the time option. Now this was designed and inspired. Sue, just tell us the story because this is really born from necessity. Yeah, um, obviously, you know, current times, we've got sanitizer, we've got masks, we've got wipes, mm -hmm. all of which we, we need. Um, so I wanted to do something whereby mm -hmm. I could put all that in, but it didn't fall to the bottom of my bag. Yeah. So I thought if I put a lobster clip on it, I can clip it to the inside, the handle. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of ladies' bags have got a, a metal hook. So you can clip it to the inside and the bag will go inside your bag if it's yeah. big. You can put it on the outside, so if you're in the supermarket or anything, it's there ready. Yeah. Also, you can hook it onto your, your jean. What well, we talked jeans. about as a doggy bag, you know, so you, a dog walking yeah, bag if you wanted to put all this right. sort of treats or whatever inside. It's, it, and it's lightweight, and the thing is it's washable. Yeah. It's a great, look, how much would you pay for a pattern? How much would you then pay to get all the different fabrics, the wadding, the lining, the feature fabrics, the hardware, all of that for eleven ninety nine is a really good price and it's a great way to organize. So if you wanted to put your essentials, when you go out now, do you have a system? Sue came up with this because she was thinking, look, when I go out, I want to make sure I've got my mask because you can't go into shops at the moment without your mask. Uh, then uh, make sure if you've got your hand sanitizer, if you want to have some disinfectant wipes. Marcus, our director, was saying, he he likes to just have some wet wipes with him anyway. He well, likes to take right, it to work. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you can do that. You can put, you can put it all. I don't know <laughs> if Marcus wanted me to share that. Uh, yeah. But you can put that all <laughs> into your bag. Uh, here, 11 99 the pattern and everything. So it's the full kit. I've got to give you some updates. Time is extremely limited. That's not a philosophical quote, uh, it's actually a <laughs> fact. So uh, time is about to go if you want to get a hold of it. The batik, come on. How is the batik not flying? I love the batik. So a third of the batik, it is busy. And then you've got your travel. This is our new option. And that is a quarter of the stock. Uh, that's actually really nice. And if you wanted to use that, I know we're not traveling at the moment, but in time, if you wanted that to be your organizer when you are traveling, so you put yep. your essentials, your tickets, your passports well, in there. Yeah. That's right. We yeah. like these. I like these a lot, actually. And the first time I was fortunate enough to work with Sue when we brought these to you, they were immensely busy. 40% of the batik got to look, batik. The amount of times I talk to crafters and we get onto what's your favorite color, colors, purple, purple always comes up. And you've got all those blues as well. I'm afraid time has run out for one option. <laughs> and it is the time. Uh, so there we go. Time, I'm popping it down. It's gone. Uh, so we're down to two options remaining. That is fantastic value for money. You're getting full kits and the pattern. And the beauty is with the pattern, because I know as crafters, you have a stash. Once you've made up your organizer, dip into your stash, make these, because Sue, this is one thing, I know you will get people seeing it, and you've had this with members of your family, and they said, can you make me one? I've already had people ask me to make the um, Christmas Eve bag. I can, I, I, I'm still waiting for mine. There yeah, and they only, I, literally, they only saw it yesterday. Yeah. Cool. It, look, it is fantastic. <laughs> We're going to get on to that. Yeah. Uh, right, so 11.99. You missed my joke there, Sue. Uh, 11.99, your I price. Got it. Uh, 047 227, <laughs> your item number. Uh, so there, boutique and travel. Right, we're going to move on. We've got more for you. These hanging pockets, again, you've just can't, you bring us such clever ideas. They're a, they are a very, very useful. Um, very useful bag. Yeah. Very. Um, you can use them in, you know, in your sewing room. You can throw all your cottons in there, all sorts. 
If you've got um, some of the small reels of ribbons, they're always rolling all over the place, you can throw them in there. But the thing is, you can just put them on a hook. Just simply on a hook in your room. Yep, and that's it. People use them, they, they put them in on a, on a coat hanger and put them in the wardrobe and put socks and things in them. These are also cute in, say, a kiddie's room, just to put little toys, yes. those little bricks that if you stand yep. on, it's the worst pain you've oh. ever experienced. Isn't yeah. it just? Yeah. Oh. 16.99 is your price. And so within this, we can make, with the kits, you make one of the pouches. No, you no? make a pair. Oh, okay, game changer. So wait, we go for an option and we're actually making, you get to make two. You make two, yeah. Well, that's even better value for money for 16.99. Yeah, you make two. That's great. Options. Should we go through the options? Let's start here. That is your navy. And it's a lovely little delicate sort of uh, dandelion or daffodil, what is it? flower effect in there. So that's your navy. And look at the contrast inside, a beautiful lining. You pick such lovely linings. Thank you. You do. Uh, now, this is your batik, is it? Yes. Yeah, and look at the inside. Oh, yeah. I'm all over that batik. Now, with the batik, Mm -hmm. um, somebody could be very clever yeah. and actually if they've just got a plain lining they could oh. actually get four because they could do two Use batik the one that's a and two of the uh, splash. Yeah. Sue, I love your style. All I can say is imagine this in a bathroom hanging up with some smellies in there. Okay, yep, that's right, all sorts. Ooh. You Ooh. Know. Uh, we're going to move on to Ben Floor Manager's fave, the dinosaur stomp. Look at this. <laughs> We love a bit of diet. This is actually really fun. So now if you did want to put the, anyone who's young at heart, great. But also for youngsters in your life, they all love. My niece loves, loves, loves dinosaurs. She's Leone just obsessed did. with them. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, she these. did. <laughs> so there are your dinosaurs. We love those. Sixteen ninety nine. your price. Remember, you're making two. And then if you want to go on safari, we got and I like do you know it's it's nice monochromatic. Sometimes it's nice yeah. to have that a little understated. Yes, and if you've got the uh, fabric pens, you could actually colour in the animals. Yes, and I, speaking of fabric pens, watch this space because I think Haley, uh, so Haley Smith, craft yourself silly, has some fabric pens in the pipeline that she's going to be bringing. Their very oh. own uh, craft yourself silly fabric pens yes, that are coming yes. up. You've heard it here. I don't know when they're coming. I know they are coming. Uh, okay, we're going to move on. Now, small messenger bags, these are a great size. Mm. There is also a secret to these messenger bags. Yes. <laughs> there is. I think, you couldn't admit it if it was true, but I think at some point, into, or right now, you could be a secret agent. Because what you do is, you incorporate these little secret pockets into your work, Look at that. So that is the perfect size for a mobile phone. Or if you want to put something, your credit card's in there, and you don't want any sticky fingers to be dipping into your bag, it is a hidden pocket in between. But what a great size messenger bag. I'm going to put it on. Shall I put it on? I think this will go very nicely with my top. So, oh, Sue. So. Well, I don't you know I'm, I, I'm all over that length. I like it. That is a great length bag. I can imagine... Well, so if, if I was to be traveling around, that is a great travel bag for me. So yeah. going on holiday, what do you want? You want your mobile phone, I want my wallet, I want my tickets and... Passport. Yeah, passport. That's it. So everything fits in there perfectly. What do you reckon, Ben? Goes? Yeah. I, Sue, I'm not even kidding. I would, I would happily be rocking this. I can imagine myself wearing this in Milan. Yeah. Just on holiday. <laughs> Do I, uh, with my long hair, I'm looking a bit Italian. Yes. Uh, so there we go. <laughs> it's the Italian look. It is. I'm going for the Italian. It's the Italian job. Uh, okay, so there we go. That's one option for you. Now, what are we getting within the kits? Can you break it down for us? So we've yep. got our feature you're, fabric. You're getting the main fabric, yep. the lining, the wadding. There's our. If I just uh, tilt that forward, the, you can see that. Uh, yep. All the hardware. Uh huh. All you've got to supply is the cotton. Wadding. Brilliant. You're getting your wadding and then you've got all your hardware in the mix as well. All of that, $24.99. There are three different options. You've got your uh, batik, you've got your floral, or you've got your bees. Those are the three options with regards to bag. And of course you're getting the pattern as well. So when you think about the wadding, the feature fabric, the lining fabric, the hardware and the pattern, 
24.99. One five zero six four five. Your item number there. Let's move on because maybe you love the concept, but you want something a little bit bigger. Yeah, and also one thing to point out: this is it's kind of like a, a canvasy sort of weight. Um, would you say, or how would you describe it, that? It, it's a cotton. Yeah. But it's a heavier weight cotton. It's okay. more like an upholstery weight cotton. Yeah. So it's quite hard wearing. Oh, this looks great. That looks so stylish. Mm. I'll be honest with you, for an extra few quid, a couple of pounds, where would you be go I think, so, and I never lie about this, for an extra two pounds, I think I'd go for the larger. Um, and, and of course, what you could do, mm -hmm. you could always, uh, with the large one, instead of having the small pocket on the front, mm -hmm. You could actually cut out, um, not in that fabric, but you could cut out two of the larger ones so you'd got two even size pockets. Oh, okay. Um, it's oh. just that I liked it having the small one. I thought you just gave it a bit more definition. I'm, I'm putting it on. I'm going for it. Now that, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a good size. Yeah, it is. You could even put it's a little book in there. It's not too big. It's not too big. It's not too small. Mm. It's a kind of size, it is a practical size. And do you know what's nice? I just think as a travel bag or a, a, a bag when you want to go out, let's say you just want to go into town, and I'm really conscious saying all this, I know a lot of us, we're trying to be careful, we're not going out as much as again, but times will change, this will pass. So when we do start going traveling, we do start going out and about, if you don't want to take a big bag, you just want to throw in your essentials. I can get my keys in there, I can get my yep. wallet in there, especially I think, for, I mean, guys, we use our pockets. Yes. But if you're a lady, have you got? Uh, I've got to give a shout out to my lovely wife, who's probably watching. She invariably, whenever we go out, she's very kind, and she'll always say to me, "Would you like me to take your keys?" Oh, and I, I was going to say, say, "Take your wallet." Oh no, she, she'd <laughs> happily take my wallet. Uh, no, so she said, "Would you like me to take your keys?" And I was handing. I've got a big clump of keys. So if you've got uh, another half, who always gives you your keys. This will uh, be handy, but you can put your wallet, you can put your phone in there. It's just a great size. But also, can we just appreciate what beautiful fabric? That looks great. Mm. I like that a lot, Sue. Script. Yeah, yeah I, I like, like that. that. All right, I'm going to put that down. You were staring at me. I thought I said something wrong, but it no, is lovely. No, no, no. I was just, just watching. Lovely fabric. Uh, okay, so uh, $26.99 <laughs> is your price. Uh, that's one option. We've also got another option. This is nice, too. The birds. I like this, a little splash of colour, it's fun. And that's the thing, Sue, when you, when you sew, when you create something, you like to have fun, you like to have a oh, giggle. Definitely, yeah. you know, it's, uh, and, and the variety. Mm -hmm. And di different cotton, different weights of fabric, yeah. different fabrics. It's amazing what you can do with them. Twenty-six ninety-nine. if you want to go for the natural or the birds, those are your options, but really practical bag. And you still have the secret pocket hidden inside. There you go. That, I just love the idea of that secret pocket. So what would you be hiding in your secret pocket? Money. Ben? Money? Money. The, see, Ben's no fool. He hide just a little bit of reserve money in there just in case. Uh, 651836, your item number. Okay, now, half the stock's gone here. This is a bag I know is always busy. So tell us a little bit about this bag. Is that the... the jo is the Jody? Oh, oh, the Jody bag. bag. Yeah. Yes. This one here, right? That's it, yes. Yeah. Um, again, it, it's an oil cloth. It's the same weight as the other two. And um, oh. it, it's just a nice size bag. Uh, it's got a different uh, clasp on the yeah. front. Yeah. But uh, that's very easy to put in. And all, on the pattern, um, with that, there's quite a lot of pictures. So oh, it, the photographs take yeah. you through every step as well. You're very good with your patterns. You always do put a lot of pictures. I like. I think this is. It's, not, it's taking me back to my modelling days. Yeah. This is nice. It's a good size. We we'll just bag have a parade as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could just literally fashion fashion show. Um, look, it's a great size bag. It looks good. Even the inside. If I, look, you're getting your hardware in there. That is a nice little cloth. Yes. Let me just open that up. Look at that inside. Oh, no wonder this is twenty-three ninety-nine. Shall I tell you a story, Sue? It's an old story, but uh, it would have been a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. My wife took me shopping on the high street, and she picked up a bag. It was a tote bag. There was no lining. 
it was such a simple bag, okay. it was £30. Oh. And I picked it up and I was saying to her, are you kidding? I was talking quite loudly, I think she was embarrassed. But I was saying, <laughs> look, the, there's no lining in here, it is the simplest bag. We could make, make this in Ho-Chanda in, in like 10 minutes. So <laughs> here, when you consider the quality of bag, you've got the, it's an oil bag in yes, the graduate yes. fabric. So you're getting I mean, your lining, you're getting your hardware, $23.99, but you also have that education. You've got the pattern to then go on and use your own yeah. stash and make your own. And if you didn't want the handle so long, you wanted just a short handle bag, then mm -hmm. that's easy. You would just reduce the, um, the size and the length of the straps. And, and that's having that practicality of being able to sort of manipulate the size. Because yeah. Kim, our, our producer, she's got a very long body and short legs. So she kind of says it's being able to adjust the uh, handles. You don't mind me saying that, Kim, do you? Uh, <laughs> let me just uh, pop that down. So. <laughs> She'll deal with you later. She's, she's not happy with me. Uh, so <laughs> let me say, twenty-three ninety-nine is your price. Three eight two zero one one your item number. Now wrapping paper bag. This is genius. Wrapping paper. When you came yes. up with this, I've got it here. So tell me why? Because this is actually a viewer got in touch with you and said, Sue, please, could you design a bag for wrapping paper? Going yeah. out shopping. Look at this. Yes, yeah, she did. I mean, I very often say, you know, if anybody. Can, you know, comes up with an idea, they can always drop me an email or a message and just say, mm -hmm. you know, can you have a look at this? And um, she wanted a, pa a, a wrapping paper, a bag to put all the wrapping paper in. Oh, okay. Um, That's a good... And as we were saying earlier, if you go camping and you've got those fold-up chairs... Yeah. That's a good idea. They'll go in there as well. Instead of the wrapping paper. That's a very good, that's a really good idea because I've actually got a couple of those in the back of my car. So just showing you here, look at the size. So just going out shopping for wrapping paper, if you want a bag specifically, because I tell you something, if you do buy wrapping paper, they give you the thinnest bag, if you do, if you're lucky enough to get hold of a wrapping paper bag that tears within seconds. Yep. I, I shall be taking mine out when I go buying the wrapping paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love this, really, and this is something you'll use perennially. Seventeen ninety nine, your price six one five eight one zero, your item number. Very quickly before we head to uh, Sue, we've got the wine bottle carrier. It is just a bestseller yes. for uh, Sue. Ah, I love this design as well. This is your lily option. Uh, so it's a duck. Oh, oh, sorry, it's, a, it's the. Um, Lizzie, not Liz Liz Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie. apologise. Uh, so, double wine carrier, you can get a couple of bottles in there, $16.99 is your <laughs> price, 486172, your item number. We like the Lizzie and we love that six pound saving. Uh, we have more. This is a cushion kit. Let's have a look. Now we've got blue or green option here, so that's your cushion kit, $16.99 is your price, 913-277, your item number. What a beautiful design, you're getting everything you need in there, so really nice kit for $16.99. Sue's so good with her pricing, she really, really is. Okay, uh, it's 913-277, your item number. Then we have got another option for you. This is your purse and wallet kit. Fourteen ninety nine your price, saving three pounds, six two nine, five six seven your item number. Being able to create that beautiful purse or wallet from there, saving three pounds. Okay, Sue, should we start having some fun? Right, yeah. What I was going to say was if you haven't got a Teflon foot, mm -hmm. it's a very quick and very cheap way of doing it piece of ordinary uh, printing paper. Yeah, yeah. Now if I wanted to do a seam near the edge, just pop the paper on, mm -hmm. pop that under. Now it's the same foot as I had before that wouldn't move. Mm -hmm. oh. Take that over. Game changer. Then what you do is you fold the paper back, just finger press it, Yeah. and then Rip it off. Uh -huh. Take the other half off. Yeah. Right, and grab it. Okay. The one I did earlier came off straight away. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. And just pull it away. Yeah. And you'll see you get clear stitching. Perfect. Really, so really good idea. You don't idea. need to buy a Teflon foot. No. And you might have in the past, I know that we featured embroidery paper, so really lightweight paper specifically for uh, that kind of technique, embroidery, and then you can tear it away. So you might have got that in the past uh, from Hochanda. But if you haven't, most people have got a, a piece of um, paper. printing paper. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. So, you know, it's just another option when you're using that. Uh -huh. So, right, what we did earlier, I just did the top of yeah. the bag, the right. hand organiser bag, and mm -hmm. all I did was I attached the top of the hook and loop to the wrong side, yeah. and then I added another, it was sort of on there, popped it over, turned it round, I've turned it the right way out and top stitched round the edge. Lovely. So now, we want to find the front, fold it in half, you can measure but this is just as quick, this is much quicker, mm. pop a pin in so you know where the centre is, get the other half of your hook and loop, and pop that in. It's about three centimetres. Okay. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to go by. I've gonna made that many it. of these. I can make them in my sleep. And this is why I, I would really, I, I think this is great value for money. So 11.99. Not only are you getting the kits, but you've got the patterns. And I guarantee, when you make one, and especially if your friends, family see it they're going to ask you to make one uh, for them as well. And this is something Sue was alluding to. So there is a warning with these. You'll make it. And then people are saying, could you make me one? So dip into your own stash. But you've got that knowledge. You're going to be whipping these up. I think these really capture a moment at the moment. They're incredibly handy. So being able to organize, put those essentials in the bag, which in your bag, or you can leave it in your car, and you just know you've got everything that you need. So at the moment, we talk about and the inspiration behind this for Sue was masks, your sanitizer, wipes you've all got you've got them in a bag uh, but equally we can oh have we got some news batik has gone limited and um, we've got cues on our phone lines sue we're busy oh good that's what we want Out people interest. Are, are watching and they're yeah. hopefully they're learning things sue uh, what kind of response have you had with these bags what are people saying to you oh it's been unbelievable it's been absolutely manic i've made it in all different I've made them in different designs, different colours, different fabrics. I've made them in children's fun fabrics, yeah. all sorts. Amazing. Yeah. And the other thing is, what I do with mine, um, you've got the clip on the side. Yeah. I've got my sanitizer, my wipes, my mask, my purse, and my phone in there. Sometimes I just take this out and I actually attach my keys to the lobster uh, clip. That's good. Two, do you know why I think this is great? And we talked, I know we've mentioned this already, as, and I know so many of my friends have dogs, as a doggy bag, oh, yeah. just being able to clip onto your trousers, go out, you've got your, look, main thing is you've got your doggy, you know, your, your, that's your, that's right, yeah, what you need for your dog. Bags. Uh, and then, what, what do they call it? Is it doggy, doggy bag? No, doggy it's not bag. Doggy. Is it what? No, it's just a doggy bag. Is it a doggy bag? Okay. Yeah. Well, if the dog makes a mess, you've got those in there. Hayley, what do you call it? <laughs> I was trying to phrase it nicer. Thanks, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but basically, your little bags to pick, clear up the mess. You uh, asked. And then you've got, I made that sound like you said something worse than you did there. Uh, and then you've also, you can put your treats in there, but really <laughs> handy to have just on your belt. I think that's for you. Oh. Shouldn't ask the question if you don't I want know. the answer. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a good point. Well said there, Sue. <laughs> so all I've done now is I just... Just, I've attached that to the side now. Yeah. Because last time I think I forgot. Uh huh. Um, so, what we then do. Right. Get the back. Now, when you're putting the flap on, it wants to be with the hook and loop side up mm. because that's going to fold over. Yeah. So, just go in the centre. That's about it. And I just like to base that in place. Some bigger stitches. I mean, I've timed myself, and I can make this in half an hour. Mm. And you will too, once you've made that first yeah, one. Half an hour is good going for a bag. Yeah. Out of interest, could we make to sell? If yeah. we used our own stash, could we do that? Yeah. Okay. Just say that. I mean, these would be very popular. Well, they're popular now in kit form, but think about because they they're so popular. practical. Yeah, you know, if you were to make to sell, I think you could do very well with these. So then, what we do, we get a piece of the lining, and it's right sides together. Mm -hmm. Put the, the lining on the top, and we're going to stitch along the top here.
I mean, this comes together so quickly. Um, I mean, once you start making them and you're making them in quantity, you'll just cut four or five out in one go. Nice. Now, if you do have any questions, we would love to hear from you. Studio at hochanda.com. Uh, I have to say, Sue is very, very knowledgeable. So any questions on your mind, great time to get in touch to the show. We always love it when you get involved. So wherever you're watching right now, because I know we have viewers in the UK, in Europe, in America, you are all part of the Hochanda family. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and all I've done now is I've just put the lining on the front mm -hmm. as well. Okay. And this is the quickest way of doing it. So then, fold your lining back. I'll just finger press it. Um, and then, you get the other half of the bag. Again, finger press it. Lay it on top. Mm -hmm match the side seams up and you do want to pin this because um, it will move if not. I've, I've tried and it moves so it's a pin job this one. Okay, the pin job. Sounds like a good movie with Michael Caine. Uh, <laughs> now I've got, I've got to tell you well, that... Well he does the Italian job so why not? The pin job. <laughs> Uh, okay, now, uh, what I can tell you with regard to the batik, it is holding on by an absolute thread. It's about to go. It's actually going to be fast as fingers first. If you want to go for the batik option, next few minutes, I think you're going to be hearing me call a technical sellout there. Uh, but they don't miss out on our travel option, too. I think this is really nice. Travel option, again, it's a good option um, for unisex if you're not sure who you're making this for. So if you want to give it to the guy or girl, anybody can enjoy that. That's a nice option. I think if anybody travels, it's just that little bit different. Yeah. Um, and now all I'm doing, I'm just pinning the sides along the bottom of the quilted area. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do now is stitch round, leaving the bottom open so I can turn it. Okay. Now, with regard to the travel, 40%, we are approaching, sorry, 40% of the uh, stock. I've got news though on the batik. Having a look here, the batik is gone. So, batik, uh, um, technical sellout. If you have got the batik in your basket, please make sure to check out. If any bounce back, I will let you know. <laughs> so, you just always have busy shows with us here. Uh, well, that's nice. Yeah. Um, it is very nice because, you know, it, for me, that tells me that what I'm designing is what people want. Yeah. Um, and that's always something because, I mean, when, when I first designed these, I said to my partner, um, what do you think about this? And I just drew something and he, he just looked at me and he went, yeah. Well, you know, anyway, I made one up. And um, once mm -hmm. he saw it made up, his words were, that's amazing. What? These are yeah. high, high praise. From, we've got to give him a name check. Pardon Mick. Me. Well, for Mick yeah. to turn around and go from a, well, to a, that's amazing, yeah. he's uh, obviously seeing the potential in it. Oh, yeah, he, he you, could do. How you do know, you get your ideas, Sue? Because you come up with such good ideas. Are they born from sort of necessity? You're looking at your own life saying, uh, look, I really would like a bag like this in my life. Sometimes, and sometimes I, I, you know, I just think, oh, well, let's find something different, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is more often the case. Now what you do, you pull, put your hand in, pull it all through. Nice. So you left yourself enough uh, space to get your hand in there. Yeah, that's no right. I just leave the bottom through. open. Yeah. Um, and I don't put any pins inside, because otherwise okay. you put your hand in, you get and a nasty there's a few surprise. ouchies. Yes. We don't want that. And then you put your hand back in, mm -hmm. push, the, push the bottom out, mm -hmm. push it out, and then all you've got to do is it's coming together very sew quickly. up the bottom bit. And you've been making this bag, so you did a little bit in the previous show, a bit today, uh, in this show, so you easily do this within half an hour, you were saying. Oh, easy, yeah. easy, yeah, because once you start it, um, it's one of those things that just really does take shape very quickly. Yeah. Um, very quickly. Nice. That's it. 
and then it's just a matter of pushing the lining back in. Okay. And then mm -hmm. all you've got to do, what I would do then, I just like to press it, just press it down and then you just top stitch around it and that's the bag done. Done and dusted. You know, it's, it's a very, very quick and easy bag to do. It's a great bag and I hope you're enjoying this show. If you do have any questions, please get in touch. But what Sue does is bring you options, bring you projects that I think really do answer a question in life. They're practical, but at such good value for money. Eleven ninety nine for a full kit. You're getting the instructions step by step uh, in there for your instructions on how to make your bag. But what a practical bag that you have here. So uh, how are you going to be using your bag? You get the hardware, that little lobster claw, uh, which you can see here in the mix. You get your feature fabric, you get your lining, and you get your wadding. Everything you need. This is the only option remaining. We started with four. This is the last option standing. So if you do want to get your travel option, have to say though, it's a very good option. Please don't feel hard done by that this is the only option you can still go for because even if all four are on the counter, this would appeal to me, especially if you do love travel. If you know somebody who loves travel as well. It's got a bit of a retro vibe too. I love the uh, sort of neutral color tones in there as well. It will go with absolutely everything. 047-227, your item number. The last option remaining to get hold of your handbag organizer, but it does not have to be a handbag organizer because, if I just lift that up, I demonstrate something. I'm going to have to pull it back here. I'll get just, I'll stand up here. Imagine it on the belt. So if you wanted to have it hanging just here on your belt and that could be your go-to bag. Say you're going for your little dog walks and you want to put in treats in there or you just want to go out and you know I would actually have this in my car. I'll tell you why. Because I've been caught short a couple of times where I've gone out and we do need at the moment to let me finish Ben. When I said I got caught short I'm saying more. That wasn't the end of the sentence. Um, so what well, you've got here a bag. I would put, uh, say, mask, uh, just at the moment, I mean, this will change in time, but put mask sanitizer, especially mask, in my car so I know if I want to go into a shop, I've got everything that I need there. It's all contained. And this is good if you know members of your family, like my dad's terrible. When he goes out, my mom, my mom and I were like, Dad, remember to bring your mask. You have to take your mask. So whenever I go and visit my parents, I'm always saying to him, make sure you've got sanitizer, make sure you've got wipes, make sure you've got your mask. Have a bag. Give that to a member of your family that you know maybe is a little bit forgetful so uh, they're not caught short. Eleven ninety nine your price there. Zero four seven two two seven your item number. That's a great shot. That looks good. Now zips have been very popular. Let's talk about zips. We're going to show you here. You're getting a lot of zips for your money. This is a seven day saver. Eleven ninety nine. Where I think these are good, Sue. You've brought us projects. So then if we wanted to go on and recreate and add a zip in there, yes. you've got that choice. Yeah, quite easily you can add a zip, particularly um, to the messenger bag. Mm. Um, you could add a zip into either the front pocket yeah. um, or the back. If anything, I think I'd put it in on the front one. Um, and even on the secret little pocket in the middle, if you've got a smaller zip, just having a look here, Sue, and that's right, with that secret pocket, I mean, you don't need to put a zip there, but no. it's nice to have that option. You're getting 60 zips for 11.99. How much does that work out per zip, uh, I wonder? I'll let, I'll let Kim, producer. 11 99 Yeah. Uh, Do you know Just under 20 pence. Yeah. Now... You're going to pay a hell of a lot more than 20 pence you for would, a zip. For a zip, traditionally, for a zip, about a pound, one pound fifty. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, you've got the small ones... Um, I mean, I bought some zips a couple of weeks ago because I was made some cushions uh, for a friend, mm -hmm. and uh, I think they were something like two pound twenty each. Ooh, you need to get yourself and some they, of these. Yeah, I hadn't got the colour that I needed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got everything else, but not the colour that oh. I needed for the cushions. So you're even getting your metal zips in there as well. So if you do want to go for your uh, seven-day saver, eleven ninety-nine is your price, saving forty-eight pounds. Uh, Four six two nine nine three item number. We're going to head back to Sue. What would you like to show us next, Sue? Um, I think I'll show you the hanging pockets because okay. time-wise, we can get those done. Nice. So there's that all finished. Okay. It's another bag. Yeah. So. The hanging pockets, as mm -hmm. I said, um, with the with the kit, 
you'll make two. But I'm just going to make the one. Okay. So the first thing we do is the tab. Mm -hmm. Now the easiest way to do that, fold it in half, finger press, fold it in half, get the edges to the centre, uh -huh. again on the other side. Nice. When you were designing these, what did you envision using these bags for? Uh, I was going to use it in the sewing room for um, cotton and all sorts of the small things that you never find space for. I've got z z some small loose zips, um, some of the hardware. Oh, shall you I know, put the zips in there? Shall we have a look? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. While you're getting on, I'll, I'll put those in. It's nice. So it's little bits you want to have in your craft room. The, yeah, you don't always want them in a drawer because you can't find them. I well, see. You can get an awful lot into your bag. Oh, you can, yes. Yeah, they're a lot bigger than what you realise. Just showing you. I've um, got zips, 60 zips. 60 zips in there, and there's still a lot more space. Love that. And it's a good solid hook as well, so you know if you do put a little bit of weight in your bag, it's going to take it. Well, that's it, because the hook goes right into the top. Mm -hmm. So what I've got now, okay. I've done the hook, the tab ready. Open it out. And then what I'm going to do, we fold the outer bits in. And I'm going to sew up this seam and that one. Okay. You don't need to pin. And literally just let the machine run off, off the end of the fabric. Right. Same with the other side. Let's fold that in. Let's get your points level. And these are so quick and easy to make. Right. Nice. What kind of level of Again, sewer would we need to be, Sue, to take so this on? Sorry, what kind of level of sewer would we need to be to take this on? Oh, beginner. Nice. Beginner will do this quite easy. Okay. So, now what we do, we fold it over, right mm -hmm. sides together, just just now again when, because, go through the quilting where you have one side and then the other right now I just pop a pin in there because you don't want that to move you want that seam to be nice and all I'm going to do now is pop it in the other way okay I'm just going to sew right the way around and I'll let the machine run off here mm. as I said this is such a quick um, such a quick project. And it's all straight stitching. Yeah. No complicated stitching or tucks or anything else with this one. Nice. You just let, the, let it run off. Take the pin out. Well, I like to just open it up, mm -hmm. and then I like to just finger press that seam open at the top. Lovely. That back seam. Yeah. Now, you've already got your pocket. Turn it right side out. Yeah. Oh, perfect. That's come together very quickly, Sue. Yeah, Are you <laughs> kidding? <laughs> now, what you do next is... Just get your tab, and I just fold it. Uh -huh. Pop that in the in the centre. I do put a basting stitch on just to hold it because I don't want to be putting pins in everything. Okay. So you just baste the top, and then now with the lining, get a piece of the lining. One of these again with the wrong si right sides together. 
So these are obviously, we, we use the instructions, we'll cut these to size. Yep, um, the pattern is full size, mm -hmm. um, and it, it, there again, it's, it's so easy. Mm. Um, I remember when I was designing these, I thought, you know, these are going to be complicated, and yet, once I got going, I couldn't believe it. Mm. Fold that one over again. Nice. Let it run off the ends. But they are really useful, you know, they've got an enormous amount of uses. Yeah. And you could do them in you could do them in heavyweight fabric. Mm -hmm. Um and use them in you know in the green in the um garden shed if it's a firm fabric. Yeah. You could quilt them. Uh-huh. Got options. Yeah. So now when you're doing the lining, again we just want the seam to match up. Now, we need to leave a gap for turning, mm -hmm. so I'll sew down probably about three quarters of the way. I like to have the gap, the turning gap, further in the bag so that it's not visible when you're uh, doing the stitch and hold it back together again. Okay. So, down. That. Uh, now we've had some turning. interest sent in from Penny. Is this is this Penny our uh, uh, Penny with the golden retrievers? Why well, do I have to? Ask. It might not be. I'm just asking the question. Uh, so these are this is great, Penny. Sue, can you see that? This wow. is the person wallet kit. Oh yes, that's a different fabric. That's nice. That's I like lovely. the way she's put the button on the front. And you know what? She's made this herself using paints and stamps. As well on the fabric. Really? Isn't that, nice? that is lovely. Uh, we also have a few more. This is all from Penny. So that's beautiful. That's the inside. Penny, you've done a fantastic job with that. that really, is really absolutely nice. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. But it just goes to prove, you know, that. Oh, those are oh. nice. What beautiful gifts, though. They if you are, were to give lovely. that to friends and yeah. family, come on. That's lovely. Penny. Thank you so much for taking the time to email them in. Say so you've done a phenomenal job with those. I'm really impressed. Really they nice. are very nice. Yeah, that's great. Shows what you can do. Colours. <laughs> and I love seeing your you face, your reaction when you saw that. You genuinely loved it. Yeah, beautiful. And I do like to see what people uh, are putting together with colours mm. and fabrics. Uh, you know, and, and when I see something like that, it's so nice because I know somebody has actually enjoyed making it and mm. made more. Yeah. Well, that, that's actually a very good point. And you do, see, with all your kits, you give us the kits, but then you also give us that information. It's such a gift to go on, yeah. and explore, uh, and expand and grow as a crafter. So what we do now, we just put the wall, the main fabric inside the lining, match the top up, and we're just uh -huh. going to then sew all around the top. Yeah. As I Lovely. said, you know, one, one, these are so easy. But how, how long are we talking to, to I mean, the knit these The other thing up? you could do is, uh, if you made them in a heavier weight fabric, yeah. you could actually use them as peg bags. Oh, that's quite good. You know, because sure. they're nice and big, get your hand in. Yeah. I also um, think these would be good to store little bags. If you've got a bag, you fold up your oh, reusable yes. bags. Yeah. Good idea. Sue, how long would it take, would you say, to knock one of these up? The beginner, I would say probably half an hour. Again, good size, good time management to create a lovely little yeah. bag. And you're creating two for sixteen ninety nine. So whichever option you go for, you're going to be able to make two. Should we go through the options very quickly? Well, so just sorry, I'm just knocking things down. So we've got a navy option, which is here. Look at the lining in that as well. Beautiful. There's your navy. Then we have our batik. But look, with the batik, and I have put a load of zips in with that batik, but Sue is quite right. She's saying if you're clever, you can actually make four bags because you can use the lining as a, a feature of fabric as well. And then just use another plain lining inside uh, from your own stash and create four. So you're making two on each, but there you can extend. Then we got our dinosaurs. 
dinosaurs approaching 40%. I think with the dinosaurs, if you're looking to create storage in a little one's room, how fun would that be? And get them tidying up. So that could be on the desk. You can put pens in there as well. Little toys, blocks, socks. Oh, what about little baby socks in there? That'd be cute. Ooh, That'd be it? cute. Uh, and then finally, we have our safari in the mix. But too. in the nursery as well, you could always put the baby wipes in there. That's true. You know, hook it on the side. Yeah, you've got little baby wipes. At hand. Yeah, I like yeah. this idea. Yeah. So all I've done, I've just mm -hmm. turned it, I pulled it through the gap. Mm -hmm. I'll just sew the, that little seam up. I mean, I timed myself making these once, and I actually made a pair uh -huh. in 10 minutes. What? Yeah, but I mean, literally, I just picked the fabric up and sat in front of the sewing machine, and that was it. Huh? Um, I mean, the advantage is I know the pattern. <laughs> I don't have to look at it. I just know what... Uh, yeah. There is the occasion when I do it, I do something, and I do have to think, uh, what do I do now? Yeah. Um, but that, and then all you do, push the lining. Well, it's up to you. You could actually have it that way round if you wanted to. It's a fun. That's what you're saying. I would absolutely take your advice there. And use the batik and the lining fabric. And what have you called that lining fabric? It's, you said it was a splash or it's, something. I just call it splash. Yeah. I mean, I put it with this because I just thought Wait, with the, the colours in the batik, it just made it look a bit brighter. But I think it's strong enough to make, I would make four oh, and yes. then just use a very yeah. plain yeah. fabric yes, from it's, your stash. It's, it's a nice lightweight cotton. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got to tell you, with regard to the dinosaurs, they are quite literally, like a pterodactyl, flying. Over 40% of the stock's gone. But how fun are these? It could be an option that potentially could become... Uh, oh, I messed it up. I'm so sorry, Marcus. Extinct. <laughs> do, you know, that, I was, do you know what? I felt bad. I was going to steal Marcus's line, and then karma, karma corrected me. Uh, but yeah, it could be coming extinct. I've got to give credit to our uh, director, Marcus, for that one. It's very, very fun. I like it. Beautiful. And then all, all I'm doing now, I'm just top-stitching mm -hmm. around. But as I said, you know, you could quite easily... Um, Put some wadding on them. You yeah. could quilt them if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Nice. We've got about three minutes remaining. Yep. That's it. We'll do it. <laughs> yeah. You can imagine these in like um, all different colours mm. in um, in a in a child's bedroom. Yeah. Because you know what they'd be? They'd want certain colour toys in the one and some others in another one. Uh huh. And I mean, I haven't done any pinning with this. Uh, well, I tell a lie, it's only just to match those bottom seams up. Yeah. I mean, great if you want to use these in the bathroom, if you want to use them in the storage, in the utility room as well, wherever you want to have them. Just hanging, we, we had the idea of hanging one of these, remember, you're making two, whichever option you go for. So hang it in a, in a, in a cupboard or in a utility room, and we can put all those disposable bags that we keep safe that you dip into and take shopping yep. with you. And the other thing is, if you made them uh, and you did wadding, mm -hmm. you could actually pin them together so you'd have literally one each side. Clever. And, th and that's it, that's that one finished. I'm just thinking, could you link them, you know you've got the strap, tie them together, two together, yeah. and then effectively you've got a little saddle that you can put over something and yeah, you've got you the two pockets do. either side. Yeah, instead of, what you could do, instead of having a separate, instead of um, folding, you could cut that out larger um, oh. Or just literally have, just put one in, and then when you make the other one up, just put the other one in the top. Genius. 
Can I, Sue, so you've got so many ideas with this, and I love your passion. Just want to remind you, whichever option you go for, you're going to be able to make two. So whether it is the navy here, you will be able to make two. Beautiful. The batik, half the stock's gone for your batik. I've laden it with all the zips from our seven-day savers, and there is still a load of space to put even more into that. But you can see it's a sturdy bag. That's your batik, half the stock. You're going to make two, remember. Then you've got the dinosaurs, which has now, I think, become one of my favorite options. Come on, whether you're a, a young kid or a big kid at heart, you're going to love that. And then you've also got your safari as well, which is cheeky. Sue, can I just say thank you so much. When are you, when are you coming back, Sue? Um, 2nd of November. Okay. I've just had a thought that if you were making them and you wanted to join them together, yeah. Um, leave the gap You've got 10 seconds. in the top. Yeah. And then make this, uh -huh. put it inside the one, inside the other one. Right. And then fold it over and just sew each end. Genius. So you're a star. Thank you so much. Thank Sue. you. You're awesome. Oh, I love Sue. And coming up next, we have the repeat of our one-day special, Handmade by Haley. It has been so busy. If you missed it, please tune in. After that, we got a happy hour with Crafty Devils. And then Creative Super Size Essentials. Ooh. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps.
Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Well, hello everybody and a warm welcome. So we've got another look at our fantastic one day special and there's a really nice story behind this because it's brought to us by uh, Hayley who we're all familiar with. So the lovely Hayley, made by Hayley. And obviously Hayley is a massive part of Hochanda and we all know what a talented quilter and sewer she is. This system, for anyone who didn't catch the launch show, has been years in development. We're talking about three and a half to four years Haley's been working on this and it's born from like all great inventions it's been born from necessity. So as a quilter the pitfalls, the struggles that Haley's encountered she's come up with a solution to something that has troubled all layers, uh, all levels of sewer. So what this system does, and it is a complete system, you've got your mocker block that is your design aspect. What you do with the mocker block you've got your frames, you've got your pieces, you construct, you audition, you try out your blocks and then you go on with the system, you've got the rulers in place to go on and create your blocks. You don't have to worry about getting lost with the mass because that's something that really does confuse a lot of sewers. It's all covered in the system. You're also getting your binding uh, tool as well so we get to do our different bindings in the mix. You've got some clips which is just a nice little addition that Haley wanted to throw in. This allows us to keep our spools and our bobbins uh, together there so you're not getting them lost and also if they're different components so cotton nylon they're all staying the same there but ultimately I just want to hold this up because this gives you a gist of the potential you have with your mocker block system this is your design aspect so we have a frame that can also be extended so you have your one frame with extenders you have 64 patch planner pieces so this is where we mock up our block, we plan. You've got your four large squares in the mix there, you've got your 16 small squares, your eight half square triangles, your 16 quarter square triangles, your eight large rectangles and your 12 narrow uh, rectangles in the mix. I think the best way to really see it or get an eye for understanding of why this is so special is to see it in action. So Haley, I know you've got the frames, now that's been extended what you've got there. I've just laid out the one day special because you've got obviously different elements within it which will go into each of those elements in the finer detail. So, oh, hold on a minute, have I... Okay. I'll let you sort that out while we're just going to sort Ailey's mic. Can I also say something that's proving very busy the previous hour, we've got the additions as well. I mean, really busy for that. With the additions, this would make it 128 pieces. What I would say is if you want to throw that into your basket with the one day special, suddenly it really opens up because then you can go to really go to town with your blocks and it's something a lot of viewers were doing and if you do put it in with your one day special, you can also spread that £20 across the flexi payments as well because obviously there's a flexi payment with the one day special. I decided okay. not to audition as a mime artist in this section, <laughs> okay. but we turn the voice on. For you a moment then you would think that I hadn't got a mic on, but <laughs> don't. Right. Um, so yeah, I mean the system itself is made up of different elements which I'll explain to you but fundamentally you've got the frame that you spoke of now I have got the frame with the extender pieces in which I'll explain to you in a few moments but then you've also got the rules that will come alongside it within the one day special that will make it really easy for you to get started with your, your quilting and your cutting so I'm going to move that all out of the way for the time being because you will start off with your frame now your frame can be made up just of the four corners which can come together to create an aperture and it's this aperture that is kind of the area that 
that we're going to be designing our block in and that's what the mocker block is all about it's about designing your quilt block that you will then go on to repl um, replicate to either make a cushion cover it could be a table runner it could be a quilt it could be whatever you like but these pieces here make it so as you can extend it so what you've got here is you've got the ability to create what we call a nine patch block because what they, we've got here is you've got obviously the aperture there which is your nine inches so because um, you've got your your three blocks by your three blocks of course that's a three inch block and um, patch and so on within there you've got nine of those within your frame and this is where you start building up your pieces to create your your block your design so for instance let's get started and let's show you one that's actually made up out of fabric in a few moments so start off with this one now what i've got here is i've got um the one day special um patch pieces because uh, i keep them in my little grab and grow um, bag which we've got a pattern for on the show get your full instructions and this explains exactly what you're going to be doing when you're putting these together so as you introduce yourself to your nine patch and also your 16 patch with all your different pieces and you've also got your patch calculator which i'll explain to you in a moment so that's always useful to have and i keep that handy in there got room for my frame that's going to sit in there a couple of little takeaway containers are always very useful to sit within that bag there because this means that i've got the pieces that i would get within the one day special so this is the content to the one day special within these tubs so you've got plenty there for you to start designing with so you might want to start off with your corners so let's start off with the corners just before I... we do this Hayley yes. I've got a little challenge for you okay should we just see it and this is off the cuff so I haven't discussed this with you before right should we just see how many different blocks we can create Okay, so yeah, you've, got, wait, you, you've got one there right now. Well, as soon as you start putting any of these pieces in, for instance, I've put the four corners in there. That's, that, traditionally, I think it's called a snowball. Yeah. So there so you've got, one. you can see your squares, you've got your half square triangle there. So that's one particular I'm block. I'm going to start counting up how many you can okay. do just off the top of your head now. Okay, now, we haven't planned this. That's a little bit of a hack that I've shown you there, because what I've done is I've put a piece of white cardboard behind my frame. So fundamentally, that's the flip side. Now, it doesn't come with that. That's personal choice. You might want to have the transportability of it and keep those in those pieces but I've chosen to keep mine flat and I've gone for an extra set because it gives you more pieces to work with but it also means mm -hmm. I can design two blocks that will kind of work alongside yeah. each other in my finished project. And we've got the extenders, uh, the extender system at the bottom of your screen and so many of you are going for the one day special and then putting the extenders at the bottom of your screen in there. Do remember that will also allow you to split the price with the flexi payment from the one day special. Now each of these pieces uh, are designed to kind of replicate your light and your dark fabric so on one side you can see black and on the other side you've got your white so think about you're planning your quilt block in monochrome okay. you're doing it in black and white yeah. basically and then you're introducing your colors as you go mm -hmm. so there we go so I've put those corners in place you can see you've got your big triangles oh. yep. and you've got um, your big triangles in your dark your big triangles in the, the light yeah. you'll notice I'm not calling them their quilt names right. their quilt names are half square triangles but if I start talking to you and start saying right you need your three inch um, half square triangles we're going to bring in three inch quarter square triangles mm. we're going to mix those up and it's like oh whoa whoa it's a bit whoa confusing. whoa 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 just just strip it back girl yeah, yeah. <laughs> make it simple and that's where this all came from i enjoy the quilting side of it i enjoy the sewing side of it i do not like to know all the measurements i just need to know what i need to know to get by so i'm going to use some of these small triangles now which okay. again you can see on here it tells me exactly what they are and that's important because we will come back to that in a later stage but each time i'm adding these in are you still counting yanis well okay so wait uh, this is two um, no. Well, I suppose we could say two because we made the snowball. Just, okay, just before you put that in, okay. you know, on the previous show, mm -hmm. you put the the sort of half triangles in between like, our snowball. Okay, yeah, can like we do that. that? Yeah, yeah, we can, can do we that. Do that? Yeah, so let's, let's do that. 